Anyway, how is your sex life? <laughs> doing his podcast hello everyone welcome back to another episode of the successfully failing podcast danny here x is in the building hey what's happening chris is in the building okay um and nick is still not here my man is lost in another country he is no he's in he's in well he was in maryland i don't know if he came back yet oh yeah no no he's torn getting them sbs (laughs) Yep, you heard it first, 2018. 2018, you don't care. Word. New year, new him. All right, so before we get this episode started, I want to remind you guys again, uh, Comic Bar Con is going down on February 10th at the Nutty Irishman in Long Island. Uh, if you're interested, check out the successfully failing Facebook and, and or Instagram pages to get more info. All right, so we're going to give our top movies and sort of kind of top game list-ish kind of thing this uh, of 2017. So I have a top 10 movie list. Uh, No, X, you didn't have top 10. You have like... I I, I think I would go with five. Five? What about you, Chris? You going to participate in this? No. No thing. Okay, so before we go, what was your favorite movie of this year? Does that have to be the best? What was your favorite movie? I can't do it. Three Oh, there you go. You got a list. I got three. <laughs> okay, um, top three. Not in any order. Star Wars, Planet of the Apes, and Power Rangers. Oh, oh. four Spider-Man. Okay, there you go. I think we might, might as well throw in a fifth one. I'm sure you got a fifth one in there. All right. So yeah. So see, Chris had a list. He just was being too. Uh, he's being a rebel. All right. So since you only got five X, what is, what was your uh, top five of 2017? Um, my top five. All right. Number my number one movie. Planet of the Apes. Okay. Uh, number two will go to um, this shit. Um, Logan. Okay. Uh, three. Um, Get Out. Okay. That was this year, right? Yeah. I mean, the, I mean, yeah. 2017, right? Mm-hmm. Four. I mean, I still haven't seen a lot of movies. Uh, uh I would say. Baby Driver came out 2017? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Baby Driver. And five, I will go with Power Rangers. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. It was pretty... I'm surprised you didn't see more. I mean, you probably saw more movies. You just haven't really put any... Yeah, it's just, it. just that. A lot of it was early in the year, yeah, too. Yeah, and, and, and I didn't... Uh, Kong's not even on there? No, nah, Kong, Kong, Kong is there, but those five movies were, were, okay. were really better. All Kong right, cool. there. All right, so... Me, I actually have a top ten. So before I get into my top ten, honorable oh, mention. Actually, scratch that. Uh, Baby Driver, Wonder Woman. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so yeah, so my honorable mentions are Get Out, uh, Star Wars: The Last Jedi, and yes, Star Wars: The Last Jedi did not make my top ten. The world's not gonna end. I mean, still a good movie. I enjoyed it a lot. Was it my favorite movie of the year? Nope. It's okay. It happens. I mean, you're bound to get bad movies. Uh, not bad movies, but, you know, not spectacular Star Wars movies, meaning that there was... Uh, yeah, you're not going to... All the movies that came out, they're all not going to be on that same level of awesomeness. Yeah, exactly. There's, there's going to be some be, hit or like, miss. Yeah, there's got to be one that go take a dip. Yeah, and I got, I got... I mean, I got a lot to say. More more good things. There was a couple of negatives about it, but, um, you know, I... I'm just, I mean, I never saw it. But, mm. Yeah, yeah. That That's another reason why I really haven't brought it up, because, yeah. But anywho... um. So, Last Jedi, Split, Annabelle Creation, and Bright. Oh, yeah, split. 
Yeah, split. That's that's what I was saying. Like you, you see, split Kong. Like you could make a top ten. Like you just you, it, yeah. I just, I just I completely forgot. But that was like another early in the year type yeah, thing, right? Because well, at the beginning of the year, it was like yeah. a, a constant bash of movies, split and then was it was good. like yeah. Because like we went to the movies like every week, and like every movie was either if not good, great. It was weird. We, remember how long we was waiting for like a, a bad movie? Oh yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it was like, and it's weird because that time at that time of the year, that's when you get your shit movies. Yeah. Nah, 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 stop it. Yeah, All right. Nah, nah, he's just, nah, he's just being a hater. <laughs> yeah, Split, Annabelle Creation, and and Annabelle could have easily made the top 10 if it wasn't for a couple other movies that came in late in the year, and Bright. Uh, Bright, great movie. Uh, everything Suicide Squad should have been. Um, Now, unfortunately, I still haven't seen Dunkirk. I still haven't seen Thor. I still haven't seen uh, Blade Runner. Mm-hmm. And oh yeah, no, that's no good review. Movie. Yeah, all three of those movies were on the top of my list, especially Dunkirk and then Blade Runner. The more I started to find out about it, but I never got to see it, and I try to hold out on the list because I wanted to see those movies. But I mean, yeah. So the that if if you're wondering to the five people that are listening why those movies weren't on the list, it's because I haven't seen them. So, um, all right. So now onto my top ten. See. This is this is where you I'm gonna go I'm gonna go down this list and you're like shit. Like so X will probably be back with his top ten after my top ten, just cause this is probably a reminder. So number ten was Wheelman, a movie that you put me onto. Yeah, I mean that that wouldn't make the top five though, but yeah, I yeah. I was thinking about that. Yeah, I mean solid solid movie, Netflix original. Um I love the fact that ninety nine percent of it was inside the car. Mm-hmm. Like movies like that are really interesting because we've seen a, a shit ton of I mean there's movies like Baby Driver and Wheelman that both came out this year, uh, both having to do with Wheelman. Um, you have something like Drive. Uh, there's a, a lot of movies that are similar to this. I think Taxi was another Wheelman-ish movie, right? Taxi. Uh, I know it had to do with like you know cars, yeah. but it, anyways. But but you know it was it was kind of like a different take on that genre, and it was really cool, and it managed to like keep you in suspense the entire time and i like when you watch a movie you usually know what's gonna happen for the most part you know good guy is gonna win whatever but there's there's a lot of movies you know they're done excuse me movies are done well when throughout the movie you feel that sense of anxiety or whatever movie with um ryan reynolds uh barry Barry? yeah Yeah. great movie i I always recommend that i recommend that after you recommended that to me it's one of those movies, like, yeah, you may watch it once or twice. Yeah, but it's, it's just a one-time watch, but it's, it's, it's yeah, yeah, it's good. Very slept-on film. All right, so number nine was Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah. Probably the best Spider-Man movie to date. I mean, you have Spider-Man 1 and 2, which were really good. Uh, I personally liked uh, the the uh, Amazing Spider-Man movies with the... Yeah, it, it sucks that that had to go. Yeah, because... I mean, I, I guess why they did that, but... yeah. I mean, they weren't bad movies at all. I mean, they were some 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 of the decisions were weird, um, but overall, like I like the dark take on Spider Man, which if anybody's Spider-Man, ever read, Spider Man is pretty dark. Yeah, most people don't see that. The, the average fan doesn't know that. They think you know. They think everything comic book hero has. Excuse me, comic book has to be uh, comic book related has to be uh, happy and funny and all never read the carnage stories the dude <laughs> maximum carnage is one of the greatest <laughs> darkest spider i mean even the animated spider-man film i mean series in the 90s dude, spider-man's a dark yeah dude he he mary jane died like twice you know like people dying all around him like his best friends becoming his worst enemies he he, he uses that that comedic quip or whatever quirkiness to uh to, to best develop his, the, his villains because no matter how much strength Spider Man does have, most of his villains are stronger than him. So, you know, he that's how he overcomes that. But anyways, yeah, so the the amazing Spider Man movies were dark and I liked it. But this one, it actually really captured everything that was Spider Man. It was kind of dark at times. Like Michael Keaton was great as uh, the vulture. He was one of the few very solid villains in, in the Marvel universe so far, the cinematic mm-hmm. universe. Mm-hmm. Um and he was there. He he was a he was sort of he he was uh, prevalent in Peter's story and in Spider Man's story, which is really cool. Um, uh, so yeah, so it was solid. I mean, there it, it, it there was a little things that some things that annoyed me, but overall it was it was great. I enjoyed it. Um, I have it on Blu Ray. I've been meaning to watch it again. I haven't seen it since it came out, but um, yeah. So Spider Man's number nine. Number 
8, Kong, Skull Island. Now, I remember seeing this trailer back, the first trailer, Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con 2016. I was like, shit. Then they came out with the other trailer where they kind of showed everything. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> but when you sit down and watch this movie, it's, it's a different Kong movie. Yeah. But, but it is Kong through and through. Still fun. Still yeah, fun movie. Samuel Jackson character was awesome. Yeah, it, he wasn't. He wasn't like a. He it, it it wasn't a bad role for him. Like the the role he played in there was was really cool. And everybody did their yeah, thing. I mean, oh yeah, that dude that's always in the the comedy movies. I forget his name. The guy that was like uh, he was the the soldier that was trapped on the island. The guy from stuff. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he was actually John like C. Riley, something like that. Yeah, yeah, he John C. Riley. Yeah. To be over- yeah, he wasn't bad at like everybody did got good in this movie. I mean, uh, what's her name? Uh, everybody. Well, the main actor wasn't really the guy who played Loki. Wasn't really. Oh, Tom was, Tom Hiddleston. Yeah, he was kind of forgettable. I didn't even think. I didn't even really like, feel like he was the main guy though. That's that's yeah. he's, he's billed as the main guy, so that's that's yeah. how he's, he's kind of forgettable. Yeah, he was like a he, yeah he was like a he's just a Drake. typical typical yeah yeah he was like Drake from yeah, Uncharted. He's just the guy just, just oh just do the right guy. decision, just right the other mm-hmm. wrongs that the yeah. character did. But you know? what, what's funny though is in in movies like this and Godzilla, you know anything that involves one of these iconic monsters, I don't care who's in it, they're not the main character to me. It's always. The, the the monster so in Godzilla yeah Brian Cranston was in it and everybody cried that he died in the first half of the movie but if you're going to see Godzilla to see Brian Cranston are you really going to see Godzilla but the, well I guess why people are angry because when Brian Cranston died then we have to we were forced to care about his yeah. son and his son was a bad character his, his son was corny but at the same time like I didn't he was it, dull bland yeah, it's yeah. just like I, I, I do not care but that didn't bother me because even still like but look, but look at Brian, Brian Cranston's character. I mean, there was there was a there, there was a um a shake up in Tokyo. His mm-hmm. wife died. Boom, oh, boom, right there. Yeah, like no, now we care what this I, guy's about. Why now we care? And they I, killed him off. I get I get that gripe, but I'd rather I, they kill off his son and yeah. and that, that add more to his character. Uh, <laughs> right, that's that's actually true. I mean, I get that gripe, but it, it to me it was more like Brian Cranston was used not like all right. So Brian, the first half was Brian Cranston's film. You know, you had. The Godzilla didn't really show up. Then when Godzilla first showed half, up, it wasn't even the first half. Well, yeah. Well, then when Godzilla showed up, it's like, all right, we don't need Brian Cranston no more because it's, it's Godzilla's movie now. But I mean, I do. There's a legitimate gripe, right? but at the same time, like if you're going to see a movie to see Brian Cranston, like it, there could have been nobody of uh, of a name. Like it could have been, excuse me, nobody uh, that's well known, and I still would have went to see it. But uh, either way, yeah. So Kong was uh, number 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 eight. Um, it actually flirted with like the top five at one point, just because it was it was a different film and it, it was it was fun and entertaining throughout. Like I said, even though you see the trailer and it kind of gave away the big twist of the film, because um, I mean it's not really a twist because you you should know that when you're going to see the Godzilla King Kong movie, for the most part, there is a especially nowadays there's like a actual villain in the film mm-hmm. that the the actual monster villain Godzilla Kong are not the real baddies. Um, they're just misunderstood at some point, but anyways. But still, it didn't give it a w- it didn't ruin the enter the uh, the experience. Solid film, I liked it, and the ending was was uh, like the the post credit scenes. That was great. Um, leading into Kong versus Godzilla, even though I don't really want that movie, but just seeing you know Godzilla, Mothra, and 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 uh, Ghidorah and all that, like that was pretty cool. Fuck King Kong, he's singing that L. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean he as he should, but. Yo, this is Godzilla, King of Monsters. All right, so number seven was Wonder Woman. It was another movie that could have been higher on the list. Probably one of the best superhero movies ever created to date. Yeah. Um, right up there with Captain America, The Dark Knight, and Watchmen. And even Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass is still on the top of my list. But, uh, but yeah, Wonder Woman, it was solid. Um, Gal Gadot, if anybody had any doubts, even after her stint in Batman vs. Superman, like you could kind of put that to rest. I mean... When she was on when she was on the screen, like it was captivating. Like just whether she said something, whether she said nothing, whether she was fighting, whether she was just you know going about her regular. And and Chris uh, Chris Pine, this dude man, I he like every movie I've seen him in, it's been like solid. Even that that train movie with uh, Denzel. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Like this dude, he he's one hell of an actor. And and the thing is, you look at him, you don't think that. <laughs> like he's got this sort of look to him where he's just a one dimensional guy. 
But I mean, dude, he kills it in Star Trek, which that's something I'm looking forward to. That that uh, Del Toro Star, I mean not Del Toro, that uh, Tarantino Star Trek. Uh, dude, like it sounds like it's gonna be a mess, but dude, J.J. Abrams and Tarantino. You, you know the thing is, all right, I'm not like a Tarantino guy, like how everybody thinks he's God and everything. I mean, I think he, he's best when he's doing his own little weird stories. I mean, him doing a Star Trek, that just sounds weird to it, me. No, it it does sound weird. It's, like it I'm, doesn't. I'm not sound saying like... he's not talented enough to do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, because he's a talented director. Yeah, he, yeah, but him writing and and directing a Star Trek movie and. It's gonna, it's, it's dude, just, yeah, like, it's weird. It, it really is out of left field, like in every sense of the word. I mean, it's, it is weird, but I mean, just him and, uh, him and Abrams, like the fact that Abrams and, is and, very much part of it. And, uh, I trust and he's whatever. a guy that he wants to do his own creative work. He doesn't, he doesn't take anything from anybody. We're, we're gonna see how this is gonna come out. It's gonna uh, be weird, I, man. I, it, it, it's, it's just, it's just weird to me. Yeah, <laughs> no, it really is weird, but I'm very, and that's what makes me curious to see what's gonna, what's gonna come of it. Cause, I mean, yeah, it's just weird. And Star Star Trek, all three of those films, they're they're like great great work out there. Yeah, even the third one, which was kind of the. I don't think the third one should even. The third one was solid as hell too. No, I'm saying, but when you compare them to the other two, like it, it there was if if that if there was one that was the weakest one, it was that one, but it was still really good. I mean, none of them they none of them followed the same formula. They all it, seemed fresh yeah. and. Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying the third one is bad. Like, I actually, that's another movie I have only seen once, and I want to see it again. That came out. That came out this year or last year. Last. 2016, right? No. It's 2016, I believe. That's it. Yeah, yeah, 2016. Yeah. I believe. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, that came out 2016 because that was uh, up for like makeup of the year with okay. the Suicide Squad. But no, no, I'm not saying that was a bad movie at all. Like, it was really enjoyable. It was cool. Like, like if out of all three of them. Like that, that to me, that was like the the weakest one, and that's not even like that's like a nine out of ten, you know? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. So it's like, um, but um, it's gonna be weird. But I mean, anyways. But back to Chris Pine. Chris Pine, like anything he touches is great. Um, it kind of sucks that he he died in the movie. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but um, but yeah, like, cause I would have loved to see him in future DC films. Yeah, I would. I would love to see him. I... <sighs> I, I I really think Chris Pine would have been better in modern turn in the modern yeah the modern well, well well you know it's different comic eras you know comic book eras whatever yeah I would like to see him run Argus yeah but you know I mean I I, I still ain't mad at the decision they did because it worked really well with yeah the movie. it moved the story along it worked really well but yeah it's just and, like and we, it's for Wonder Woman's character yeah but we it's like we know Steve Trevor being like you know in existence in this day and age in comic book yeah. in the comic book world so like but I mean yeah it, it did move the story along but yeah it would have been nice to see him like you said running Argus or even like if they casted him as like Hal Jordan or, or you know a lantern or something that that would have been great but you know it, it, it's still and you know Chris, a little uh, back to digress to Star Trek again you know Chris Hemsworth is going back to it really yeah cause you know how they they, they do that alternate reality oh, okay. shit so oh, yeah alright all right. So like that was that was pretty interesting. So, but anyways, um, all right. So yeah, so Wonder Woman, solid solid flick. I like the villain. I like the sort of the way they did the villain too, because it was like it wasn't. It was almost like how how Hydra is. It's like Hydra yeah. was there stirring up the pot. Um, it wasn't really a one single villain. I mean, it was, yeah. but he wasn't like who you thought was the villain wasn't mm-hmm. the villain, and, and and that was a cool twist and turn. And the thing is, I like when the villain is like yeah you're right <laughs> he, he was right all that shit that happened all that is like i didn't do anything yeah. that's what you, that's what that's what y'all did mm-hmm. <laughs> uh yeah so. yeah so great great movie yeah great De- great movie definitely looking forward to the next uh, there's one dc to movie to 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 stand out is wonder woman and and i'm i'm, I'm glad that <laughs> yeah. is is that she deserved it mm-hmm. and it's funny uh as as long as Marvel has been around for, they have yet to have a female superhero film. And you know, oh, that's right. And I, I'm, yeah, let's not it's here. no, no, no. I'm not being feminine. I'm not being a feminist. I'm just saying it. It is funny that out of all the movies they've had, like they've had the chance yeah, to no, make one and they didn't. Um, Carol Danvers, her movie's coming out. 
Well, she's gonna be the most powerful in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So yeah, I think I think I think they know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah and they, they have they a plan. Smart. I'm just—it's <laughs> just funny that you would think with. I mean, like I said, with all the movies they have, they would have had one. But yeah, then but again, there's but honestly, on the Marvel side, there is no woman as iconic as Wonder Woman. That well, yeah, that that's. I mean, without without there, saying, I mean, actually, the, and, and the closest are on, on the Marvel. Well, there's a okay. Let me let me. There's a Marvel side and the X Men side. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was the X Men side got all the iconic women there. That, Marvel can't use that's that. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> on the Marvel, uh-huh. none. There's nothing. There's nothing. Yeah, no. I mean, Black Widow's. Black Widow's not really. She, I'm still surprised they didn't make a solo film for her. Yeah. You know, I mean, they did Guardians, but yeah, but you're right. There is no iconic Marvel villain I mean Marvel who, who, woman who's the most iconic Marvel woman so, well I would another say Storm. one they don't have yeah I would say Sue Storm, Storm yeah. yeah and even her she she's she's not gonna get her own solo film yeah. I mean oh, Sue Storm. that's what we just said but yeah. she's not gonna she's, she doesn't warrant her own and not nothing against her her character but when uh, nothing warrants a solo film for her because she's part of the Fantastic Four yeah, and yeah, she, she is who she, they yeah. are she is who she is because of all of them yeah. you know so Fuck She-Hulk. She-Hulk, hey, no, no, She-Hulk is not really. <laughs> She-Hulk's like a B, B-list, C-list I would say, character. I would say, he's Captain Marvel. Now, yeah, now, now, now he's he Captain Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. Captain Marvel. She's been playing a huge. Look, well, the role. most, the most important, the the most iconic female Marvel characters are outside of you know Captain Marvel are X Men characters and most of the female Spider Man characters, and even those characters don't warrant their mm, own solo yeah. film. Wasp, nah, not even. Nah, nah, she nah. she's a she's a team up character. Yeah, see, and hence why they're doing the. Uh, yeah, there's the, there's no character on the level of Wonder Woman. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, yeah. That's and 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 that baffles me how Warner I, Brothers. I would think I would even go far to say Batgirl is even more popular than. Yeah, she is. Yeah, than, you're right. Supergirl, Batgirl, Supergirl, Super, yeah, Wonder Woman. Yeah, the, that yeah, trio right there. Yeah, Trump's exactly. like the the biggest female Marvel character. Hey, Sadie, don't do it. All right, so uh, yeah, so number seven was Wonder Woman. Number six was A Monster Calls. And I've been looking forward to this movie since I first like heard about it. Uh, pretty much, um, it's about a kid who um, his mom is dying of cancer, um, and he's dealing with a bunch of kid stuff, being picked on and whatnot. And um, he uh, he he gro- he he gains this sort of weird relationship with uh, a, a tree, voiced by Liam Neeson. And like, there's a joke where it's like, this is like the the group origin story, but uh, no, dude, this movie right here, I mean, it is probably one of the most moving films in, in like I've ever seen. Like, I mean, we all have mothers, you know. It, it's just like, it it, w- it was deep. I mean, uh, um, shit, how am I forgetting her name? I lo- uh, Felicity Jones. Felicity Jones plays the mom. Now, Felicity Jones, like, I mean, most people would know her now Felicia from Black Hat. Uh, Ur- uh, what's her name? Jin Urso. But yeah, she was Black Cat in in that oh, Spider Man oh, film. Yeah, <laughs> Rogue One. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most people know her from Rogue One now, but I mean, watch that that watch her in that movie, and and you see she she can act, and and it was just moving as hell, and and the story it told was really deep. Like it's one of those layered things where at first you're like, what's the point of this? But at the end of it, you get it, and it is it is one solid movie like that. I don't care who you are. That that's one of those movies that make you like almost come to tears especially like it it i mean if you have a mother and you love your mother like that that'll hit you um yeah like that that's something you should watch x i think you you thoroughly would it, you would thoroughly enjoy that all right number five is it um a lot of hype surrounding this movie you know a lot of hype surrounding any remake of a horror classic or you know cult classic whatever and this shit dude it 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 was all the hype was all real um uh, the execution, like, I mean, we watch a lot of horror movies, and one thing that really irks us is the execution, like how they use the jump scares, and and you know, it, it's almost like a cop out kind of thing. Um, I, I'm a big fan of like the way movies, horror movies, utilize the score and ambiance and sort of visual scare tactics, where like you see something in the background, you know, things that stick in your head as opposed to a jump scare. Um, cause jump scares, all it really is, is loud noise. Like you, is it, it doesn't even have to be scary to invoke 
like a jump scare because just because it's, it's so it's loud so and random, it's just like yeah. Hey, yeah, you're watching a scary movie. Just re- just remember that. Since, okay. Yeah, like we we okay. know, yeah. and and <laughs> you look at movies like The Babadook and Paranormal Activity, and 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 um even something like uh uh what's what's um Deliver Us from Evil, movies like that where it's a lot of visual stuff, and that's the shit that sticks with you. Um, a lot of the classics, like remember the movie Signs. Yeah. Oh, speaking of signs, is this something um, that that I want to talk about? But yeah, yeah, that that that, that like there's a whole scene when the aliens are oh. in the house. Oh, the birthday scene. Oh, you said well, 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 the birthday scene is another one, dude. That right there, that, I think that yeah. is the scariest, probably mm-hmm. top ten scariest scenes in any. And horror the thing movie. is, you know what's coming either. You you know what's coming too, and and that shit is scary. I mean, yeah. and and when they when the when they came to the house, you you don't see that they come to the house, but you know they're there because of the sound. Yeah. And the 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 sound. The yeah, the sound editing and all that. Because that's what sticks. That's yeah, what that's sticks what makes with that, you. That, that's what makes that's that's why I was watching. I was like, yo, this is creepy. Because you know, I was younger when that. Yeah. I was like, shit. <laughs> yeah, like another movie that did that the sound well was uh, The Possession of Michael King. That's another found footage movie, but the sound design, uh, the sound design in that film was just so gripping, and it, it, that's what makes it scary. Because outside of like visual things, hearing stuff, because now you start to hear things that you normally don't hear. Like a, a, a fun, a fun story was a uh, me and Chris had just moved to an apartment where uh, where we used to, our previous apartment to this one. And um, so we used to live under. Well, for, let me tell the the other part of it. So we're we're watching a, a one of those found footage movies. It was called Paranormal Entity. It's kind of like Paranormal Activity, but different family, little different, you know, tricks or whatever. Pretty pretty creepy shit. This is one scene where like, uh, they put the camera inside the daughter's closet to to monitor her at night, and like you just hear this breathing, and then the the closet door closes and she starts screaming like, dude, that was creepy, yeah. So anyway, so we finished watching the movie, and if you watch any kind of movie like that, or uh, or most ghost movies that are done right, like, there's a thing called The Witching Hours, Hour Hours, it's like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, Mm -hmm. Um, and that's when these things usually happen. So in, like, Paranormal Activity or that Paranormal Entity movie, around that time, you hear, like, a rumble, it sounds kind of like a a dryer or something like that, Mm -hmm. and so me and Chris finished watching this movie, we're getting ready to go to sleep, and, you know... It, it was like, I think it was like 2.45, 3 o'clock or something like that. And we start to hear a rumble. And me and him looked at each other. We was like, what the fuck? And, but then like, uh, it dawned on us because, all right, so where we used to live before that, um, we lived like right by a highway and it was never quiet. I mean, it wasn't super noisy, but you always hear like, you wouldn't hear, like it, it was you wouldn't hear a lot of silence silence like you know country-ish silence or whatever so it's weird we moved to like not that far from where we used to live but the block the particular block we lived on it's like you can hear you can hear and feel the train the, the subway so that's what that was it's just weird because it was around september we didn't have the ac on so the window was open and you feel and hear the train and we just like what the fuck but anyways that's the point that that's what those movies do they they make you so anyways it I mean, from the cast, the direction. I mean, the the, the dude Scarsgard that played uh, uh, Pennywise. Uh, the sort of direction they went, it it was solid, and that's how horror movies should be done. And that's a that's a Hollywood horror movie, and it was done right. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like like it, one thing that bothers me is like, uh, I I don't know if I heard this story right, but from my understanding, uh, like they 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 wanted to make the it film, but Hollywood was against you know, putting kids in danger or whatever. And then I think from that, that's how Stranger Things came about. Mm-hmm. Some shit like that. I remember hearing that somewhere to that extent. I could be wrong. Um, but but anyways, it, it but it doesn't, like, I wouldn't put it past them because Hollywood has this thing where, you know, they want to protect certain people. They want to aim certain things at certain people. Like, you want to aim horror movies at younger audiences. Like, I mean, yeah. that, that that's all well and fine, but... You have those horror movies that are... I don't know. It's just weird. Uh, I mean, I you could... The, look at the Potter guys. Wasn't that... That's like PG. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a PG film. Yeah. And... and uh, oh, it's typically horror. I mean, a horror film doesn't need to be... Um, a gore fest. Titties yeah. all over the place or whatever. Yeah. It doesn't need to be all that. It's all about su- suspense. I mean, freaking boobs ain't gonna scare me. <laughs> right? Well, I mean... <laughs> You know that's a whole other conversation for another day, but but yeah, so it it, it was a 
actually it's out I think it's out I know it's out on Blu-ray uh, that's another movie I gotta pick up eventually um got I want to rent it at least to watch it again but uh it was dude it was solid I mean uh you have uh one of the kids from Stranger Things the main kid uh, oh who's it again well, I, I hate no, when I the main. yeah the no. main the main no not the main kid in Stranger Things oh, was well, in no I I know that I know what I just forget his name I always is it was it Will uh Mike Mike there you go I forget a simple name but Mike was in the movie um and yeah it was it was just cool it was really solid uh. It definitely followed a lot of the things that happened in the in the book, um, as opposed to the uh, to the uh, to that mini series they came out with. Um, they did as much as they could because I don't know if you ever seen like the uh, like they have videos talking about the, the the differences between the films and the book because the book has a lot of weird shit. Like there's this one part in the book where the girl has like sex with all the boys or some shit like that it's weird and, and it's not even on some like her being a horse shit it was just like it was a way to not i think they wanted to split each keep each other close or some weird shit or something be, so if it ever comes back yeah it's some weird shit some weird sh- but yeah they they cut out a lot of stuff but they also kept it um you know as close to the books but anyways but solid film like i said you don't really see a hollywood horror movie that good um, especially one that's like that hyped. Outside of like Annabelle Creation, which the first Annabelle was okay, but this the the creation, dude, that shit was scary. Um, and 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 even most of the uh the Conjuring films, like they're actually like really good. Yeah, I seen Con- Conjuring two like earlier in yeah, two thousand seventeen. Is solid. Yeah, that, solid. Yeah, that was cool. And, and what I love about it is that. They they keep it fresh with that sort of extended universe thing, but it's not like it does. It's weird. It doesn't feel forced like a lot of these other like how they try to do the the universal monster thingy. Yeah. Because it's, re- um, it's revolved around that couple and their yeah their experiences and, and a lot all these stories in the movie are based off of real life incidents. Mm-hmm. Not saying these things actually happen, but these are real life stories. Like uh, I was actually looking. They have videos like that top fives dude. Um, he he had videos on. A lot of the stuff that happened, and when we watch, like sometimes it's like you watch these videos and then you see the movie. You're like I know about this, or yeah. vice versa. Yeah. No, the Conjuring ones; those are mostly. It's like they dramatize it, but it's no, like, no, I know, but it's based yeah, off oh, that they're, they're, off that story or experience. Like I said, whether it actually, you know, whether people are making it up or whatever. But either way, it's based off of something that has some kind of, you know, source to it, which is pretty yeah, cool, bringing it to life. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and I actually want to go to that to that um to that place where they have all the uh those um possessed items i know it's right now it's actually like uh temporarily closed they're like relocating or something but yeah so all right uh number four is baby driver uh movie i wanted to see since it came out in the theaters i didn't get to see it so uh, x got it on uh, black friday uh first of all this is coming from um again i'm forgetting i need to write this shit down i'm forgetting uh names but this is the director who directed scott pilgrim one of my favorite edgar movies wright. edgar <laughs> wright yeah one of my favorite films of all time um and you know from from the cast to the to the direction the action the way the music was used it was really cool um i mean yeah it's it's it was a solid solid flick like i like i said i love the uh i mean it was it was intense throughout um, I guess the the way they utilized the music and it was one of those movies that it could go from like being funny and entertaining to dark and gritty or well, also entertaining. Mm-hmm. Um, and and the ending, dude, that that shit like it actually made me happy. Like it's one of those things where like I I'm not really like oh if you know if people are not if they don't have happy endings I'm gonna be mad. Um, I'm used to the like the bad endings, but when it comes to certain topics and relationships, I'm like yo. I, I, I'm rooting for it because yeah but then it also bothers me at the same time because like you look at <laughs> you look at his situation this dude went to jail went to jail this chick still waited for him mm-hmm. and I'm like yo I can't even get a text back mm-hmm. you know but uh but yeah dude everybody in that movie um Jamie Foxx and um on even even uh Kevin Spacey <laughs> R.I.P but uh <laughs> <laughs> you know it, it's funny like 
I that doesn't bother me. Like that past shit, like it doesn't affect me. I I guess because I mean I'm not trying to sound. I mean, it doesn't affect me either. But what he did is kind of fucked oh, up. What he did was fucked up. But I'm like <laughs> I'm watching that movie already knowing because I saw it yeah. after it came out and it, it's like all right. I mean, it's still fucked up though. I'm not condoning anything, but I mean whatever. But that's not what this is about. Uh, Baby Driver was solid. Uh, and I, it's actually better for the film that that incident came out after. Yeah, so they're going to try and go back and, and recast this scene. <laughs> yeah, because that shit could have hurt that, the yeah. movie. The, uh, like, I mean, I, I doubt it because I think they could have found somebody else. I mean, I'm not saying um, Kevin Spacey was irreplaceable in that role, but he did good, as he usually does. I mean, usually when Kevin Spacey's in something, he's yeah. solid, but... Yeah. But R.I.P. Spacey. All right, so, yeah, Baby Driver was dope. Um, and like I said, it was from Edgar Wright, who directed Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which is one of my favorite movies all time. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It's a ridiculous plot, but it, it works, and it's fun, and it's entertaining. What's the website for Amazon.co? Amazon.co. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke from the movie. All right, so number three is Logan. Um... I, I I'm not the biggest Wolverine Logan fan. I do I love the X Men. I I didn't I don't like the way he's been treated in the films as like he's the the main dude and you know he's the leader and all that. I mean his solo films are his solo films. He deserves his solo films. He has solo comics. So whatever. Um. But but anyways, all that aside, I Logan was amazing. It was one of those films just like The Dark Knight where you can take out the the comic book properties and it would still be like a great movie. And uh, if you're a fan of The Last of Us, it got that vibe kind of to it. I was like, damn. When I saw that, I was like, shit. <laughs> yep. And this is another case that not all comic book movies should be, you know, should be super fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can be entertaining, they could be fun, but... Okay. Oh, no, no, my, no, my bad. I'm... Uh, yeah. So yeah, like it, it it should be super gritty and shit, and and that's what that was. And it, I mean, when it hit, it hit hard, and the acting was on point. The little girl who didn't really speak much, uh, she was a, uh, she was solid. Uh, uh, Hugh Jackman was amazing, and I think out of everybody in this film, Patrick Stewart, that yeah portrayal of Professor X is something I've never seen. Uh, like I've never seen. You know, in any kind of comic book thing. I mean, just like I mean, even even in the comics, I don't remember him being like that beat up. Yeah. <laughs> well, have you read I, Avengers never... versus X Men? Oh yeah, yeah, that I read. Yeah. yeah. That that was like the closest we yeah. got. And even this was like a step. Well, he's coming back. So. Oh, of course, I mean, they don't stay dead in comics. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, everybody always comes back. But anyways, no, sorry, I got distracted. But yeah, dude, I mean, Patrick Stewart, I'm I'm a huge fan of Patrick Stewart. I mean, anything he touches, I don't know if you guys ever seen, uh, ever seen, um, what's it called? Uh, Green Room with uh, Ant Anton Yelich. Yeah, he, he, play, he has a minor role. Patrick Stewart has like a minor role in there, but he's, I mean, he plays a bad guy, which is pretty intriguing. But anyways, yeah, so Logan was, was I mean, excuse me, Patrick Stewart's role in there and everything about that movie, it, it, it felt natural. Um, and yes, it, it was, it was everything that movie should have been. And I, I was surprised. Yeah, um, I was, I was surprised too. I mean, I seen the Wolverine before, you know, I yeah. seen that movie. I was like, that movie's pretty cool. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. It was, it was amazing. Pretty, I, <laughs> this guy. I was like, that was pretty cool. Then, uh, then Logan came on, I was like, Whoa! <laughs> he just Went brought it. Garbage to don't 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 to listen to this guy. <laughs> yeah. don't, he just a hater. But well, when you hear everybody praising it as like it's the greatest movie ever, well, he the is character's a piece of shit. Comic well, the comic character's a piece of shit. And well, that's your opinion. I mean, it, that's guy. Yeah, that's Chris is being Chris is being a uh, 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 he's being a, a grumpy grumpy right now. <laughs> it's all about Remy and Scott. Oh God. Anyway. Yeah. Anyways, but uh, yeah. He um, I was gonna say yeah. He uh, damn it, Chris, you gotta be no that that right there. I mean, it it definitely like ranks up there with some of the better uh better comic book films. Um, it was it was a breath of fresh air, 
and yeah, Chris is totally like throwing me off with his with his negativity. He doesn't like Logan. He doesn't care for Wolverine. We get it. I don't care for Wolverine either. I don't like invincible characters. I think they're like you know. Shut up. Oh yeah, Chris is one of those right. guys who gets annoyed at when people hype and things. No, it's not that. People can't have fun in 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 in, in, in I don't get annoyed with people hyping <laughs> things. I'm saying that people. I go out and watch this movie. My so that my expectations is supposed to be like this freaking greatest movie. No, first of all, of uh, first of all, when when you when you go to watch a movie and everybody's hyping it up, like first of all, forget because everybody can hype it up. Everybody could trash it. There's movies that people have trashed that we've enjoyed or movies that people hyped up and we don't give a shit about. So it's like, I mean, I'm going into it. Like, I know how certain people feel about uh, Wolverine and, and Logan, how they suck him off or whatever because of the movies. But I don't care about that. Like, I went, Hugh Jackman's not the greatest I don't think Hugh Jackman is the greatest Wolverine ever, but he played a hell of a the fucking... The greatest Wolverine? How many Wolverines have been played? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, what, what he's trying to say is, and this is how I feel yeah, too, that like he could be... Yeah, well, that's because people okay. say that people... You you, you got to ignore that because people say that to every character that's portrayed on the big screen. Um, and uh, yeah, like people, you know, the, how every character is portrayed on the big screen... Um, you know, they, they think that that's the be-all, end-all because that's the only one they've seen. Like, Tobey Maguire, same thing. Um, you know, I mean, there are certain people that are, like, cookie-cut for that role. Like, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Robert, Downing. Robert Downing Jr. or J.K. Simmons. Uh, the guy that played Sandman. Yeah, so there's certain people that get away with that. And Hugh Jackman, he's, he's, a, he's a victim of he's been the only Wolverine on the big screen. So, and it's funny because for, for, he wasn't even supposed to be Wolverine. I forgot who it was that was supposed to play him, but... Oh, wasn't it supposed to be... It was supposed to be Russell Crowe. Yeah. Russell Crowe was supposed to he play Wolverine. Wolverine. But he's too he's too old, though. Yeah, like, he, he would be great for the old man Logan he's role. Fucking, he's not, like, six feet tall. Like, fucking, I, I mean, I don't know. I, like, in my opinion, Tom Hardy or the guy that played uh, Death, Deathstroke in... Um, I, in think um, Death, I think um, Manny Bennett is the next... Is, is the closest thing. To, well, yeah. now, especially because... Because, uh, right... As of right now, uh, he's playing... Um, what, Deathstroke? Wait, wait, wait. I'm say- no, I'm saying Tom Hardy's playing uh, Venom as of now. Oh. Who knows how long that's going to, if that even, that could, that- watch that shit get canned. That'd be so funny. I mean, if it gets canned, it get canned. I'm I mean, okay. it, could, it could still be a good movie and get canned. Is that what the story that it's rumored to try to make it? Yeah, who knows? Bad. I mean, whatever. I mean, yeah, you heard the rumor about that? It's supposed to be like a romantic horror comedy type. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, just that's, bad. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, bad news right now. <laughs> yeah, that right there, I mean... <laughs> but and, I'll still give it a chance. And though. and there's supposed to be a Lady Venom in there. Oh, yuck. <laughs> yeah. Yuck. A Lady Venom. Now you just... You're, or whatever. I mean... The, the way the, the, the way Disney's been on fire with the new acquisition, I think that might be the only Venom movie you're going to get, so... He at least deserved one movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey. They they botched it in Spider-Man 3. I don't care what anybody tells me. They botched the shit out of Venom. <laughs> so, yeah, on to the next. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so anyways, Logan, Logan was dope. Yeah, all right. So, number two. Um, Now, a lot of people are not going to agree with me on this. But, again, this is my top ten. And it, my number two is Power Rangers. Now, like I said, people are not going to agree. They're going to be like, oh, that movie was this, that movie was that. Like, all right, cool. Um, first of all, I enjoyed the shit out of it. Like, being a... Oh, yeah, son. Yeah, dude, growing up as Power Ranger fans, like, mm-hmm. we, we had two Power Ranger movies. And at the time, we loved them. But it's like this movie took what we loved as kids and modernized it to where you can bring newer audiences into it. Um, it, it the stories were... Yeah, they were they were definitely influenced by a lot of other things, but that was okay. Uh, all movies do that. All comics do that. All superheroes like everything's influenced by something else. I mean, even even the more older shit is influenced by something. But anyways, this movie going into it, it's like, what is it gonna be like? How is it gonna be? Who's gonna do this? What what, what you know? We it was a lot of questions. Like we were really intrigued and curious. Also kind of skeptical going into it. Before I'm talking about before the trailers and all that. Because when I saw that first trailer, I was like, shit. Like it didn't give us much, but I like I like I like the feel that yeah, that we were supposed to get. Yeah, there was people complaining about everything. Yeah, I mean, we have friends in particular. 
we have friends in particular that like were shitting on the movie before it came out so like against it and then the, one of my friends when he saw it he put this big post talking about how he ate his you know he he ate his own uh how you say he had his uh whatever he ate his own words he had his foot in his mouth whatever like he enjoyed it yeah he had problems with it but you know that's normal for any movie. I mean, my only real issue was it with it was like the Megazords. Well, the Megazord. The Zords were cool. It was just the Megazord. Like it just didn't seem like a. But, I mean, I could imagine the movie didn't have a crazy budget anyway. So, uh, but the 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 kids that, you know, the actors that portrayed the Power Rangers, I love their their relationship. I think that was probably my favorite part of the movie. Yeah, their their whole. The whole, um, yeah, it was character driven. Mm -hmm. And every character was unique. Mm -hmm. Every character. I mean, yeah, again, they could have been influenced by certain characters from whatever, but it didn't feel like a ripoff of something. I mean, everybody was their own character. And whatever little changes they made, it all felt natural. I mean, maybe, probably the only guy that kind of got the short end of it was, uh, was Zach. Like, he seemed to be one of the guys that really kind of had, like, the least. Out of everybody, but, uh, but he still had enough. Where, yeah, I understand his uh, his whole deal. Yeah, it was, it was yeah, it was simple. You didn't have to go too deep. I think his story was less complex than a yeah. lot of the other ones. So, um, but yeah, it was it was awesome, and uh, I I liked Rita's portrayal. Um, mm -hmm. Goldar could have kind of, but there's theories that that isn't the real Goldar. That that's sort of like his remains or whatever. So yeah, that's the real Goldar out of there. And and Brian Cranston, amazing job as Zordon. Like, I, I thought that was Zordon like Zordon had the personality he had a background he had all that mm -hmm. he had a purpose I was like oh yeah. dude yeah let's talk about the first five minutes of the film yeah when they all were Power Rangers when dude, they all were OG Power Rangers that like, was great I mean you just good set idea, up good idea yeah, dude, you just made this into something that what the series should have been doing and I keep saying that the series needs to be fucking so, animated so, so they, they just only talk about the, the two they didn't talk about the other well they showed the other alien who are rangers but yeah, they didn't yeah, show no, all of them right no it was like like, like there, there was like another one they showed so I wonder one that could be Zed or some shit you know what I'm saying? They, yeah I mean no, anything's Rito, possible Rito was working for Zed oh she was Zed, working for Zed in that Zed movie? corrupted her Oh yeah, yeah. Oh shit! And and dude, I really hope I, I from from what we understand oh, right they now, don't. they're not getting the well, Hollywood's not getting another sequel. No, no, dude, that's it. That's but it. But no, no, no. Netflix is the savior, dude. Netflix. Netflix how many how many things shit. have they saved? You know, they're coming out with an Umbrella Academy series. Do you know um, what that is? Umbrella, as in no, not Umbrella. not Resident Evil. Snow the, um, no, no, no. It's um Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance. He wrote a. Comic books for uh, Dark Horse. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, those are cra those are really good books. I mean, I only read the first one. I have the second one. I haven't read that, but th that's really intriguing. See, that's the beauty the beauty of Netflix and Hulu and all that. Like we we get to get these, you know, we got like Daredevil, Punisher. We get these things that we wouldn't get on the big screen. But anyway, so yeah. But you ain't getting Power Rangers. No, no, no. We getting Power. Watch, we're gonna get Power Rangers on Hulu or Netflix. It's it's gonna happen and. And what they need to do is turn that series into an animated series. Scrap the the live action shit. You could do so much more. I mean, this movie set up a lot for for something that shouldn't have been that complex and that like broad and 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 potentially expansive. Like they did a lot. And so, anyways, but yeah. So that was my that was my biggest surprise of the year. I I I wanted it to be good. I thought it was gonna be okay. Yeah, I, th I thought it was. I was thought I just might just like it for what it is. I even expected, hey, there gonna be problems here and there, but I'm just seeing it for the Power Rangers. Yeah. Just like, just like how I watched Ninja Turtles for the Ninja Turtles, knowing that yeah, shit is gonna get fucked up in the Ninja Turtles it, movie. Except and it, and that was, yeah. Yeah, but Power Rangers actually brought it. They yeah. actually, you know, put an effort to be a good freaking movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it really seemed like they were trying, and not trying too hard, not trying to, you know. Uh, sort of do things for the sake of doing it like they wanted to make this a a, a new thing where like you're bringing in the new kids because a lot of these kids nowadays I mean they may know Power Rangers and maybe they like it but no, no damn Power Rangers. but yeah but they they it's 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 different to them and now yeah. you take something and you you make these it kids a, these kids this these kids on the this latest generation coming up they don't know shit. <laughs> I mean, they don't, they don't got know, good cartoons. They don't got SWAT cats, man. They don't got. They don't got nothing. Have you seen today's cartoons? Outside, just like a handful of them. The they ones suck. The the only uh, yeah. The only good has to be Ninja Turtles. 
that, that's really it. And 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 most of the other ones like are good but weird good. Like Adventure Time, I wouldn't really classify that as a no, as a, a great show. cartoon. And yeah, it's not a kid's that's show. Not a kid's show. I don't but well, well, then again, dude. I mean, look at the shit we grew up on. <laughs> I think that shit was way more unfiltered. I mean, <laughs> fucking Ren and Stimpy, uh, uh, Rocco's uh, Modern yeah, Life, yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that oh baby oh, <laughs> it's fucking Rocco worked for a sex hotline. Come on, <laughs> I didn't even know that. Like I'm watching- I remember, I remember watching the Ren and Stimpy. This dude fucking Stimpy just shat on a carpet, and he went and spent the whole episode looking for the shit. <laughs> so I'm not lying. <laughs> I actually remember that dude. You know what? And there was another one. There was a sword in the mouth or some shit. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Where they uh. The whole closet scene. Yeah, nah, nah, man. Yo, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how y'all get away with that, man. No, you know what show is golden though, and and not even like in a stupid way. Two stupid dogs. No, no, that show was dude, good. That shit, I like. <laughs> show was good, dude. That oh my god, like that was. I think a a more. Not I don't want to say grounded. I'm trying to think of the word, but it was like what Ren and Stimpy. Should have been. No, Ren and Stimpy was dope though. I can't front. Like back in the day, that was the shit. It was just, it was like you look at it now. It's like, okay, what were we watching? Surprised none of us grew up to be Batiman, you know. <laughs> but, but anyways, but uh, but yeah. So um, yeah, Power Rangers was a big surprise. I I, and I watched it again the second. Like when I watched it the second time, I enjoyed it just as much. I, I was, That's the funny thing too, because when I when I when I watched it again, I'm thinking in the back of my mind, I I loved it the first time. Um, who knows if I'm gonna like it this time? Yeah. I mean, like you still see the there was a couple things I'm like, yeah, but that didn't bother me. But anyway, I'm hoping a new one comes out eventually. But uh alright, so my number one was War for the Planet of the Apes. Mm. I mean that movie shit. Like it well, I remember when the first one came out. It was that was Rise, right? Yeah. It was Rise and Dawn and War. And we went into that movie expecting it to be probably shit. It's one of those you you go to, we go to the movies and all right we have our movies that we know are gonna be awesome but then there's those movies where it's either going to be one or the other mm-hmm. no in between and it, it never is in between it's either really good or just eh and like Pacific Rim was one of those where like this is gonna be fucking awesome or it's gonna be yeah. corny that shit was awesome uh Planet of the Apes awesome I mean James Franco in that movie uh, that that whole Caesar line when he just scram out and scram, sc- screamed out no. Yeah, I was like, whoa. Yeah, dude, that was like, ooh, the whole theater is just like, shit. <laughs> like, like, we got yelled at. Uh, and then the next one was just an amazing film. I mean, a movie that thrives so much on CG, and it never lost the human and ape part of it. You know, like uh, Andy Serkis, and I don't know who voiced, uh, voiced uh, Koba, but yeah. but to them, I mean, them two. And then War for the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, I, I liked Koba's own... I, I I see why Cobra is mad in part two. Dude, that was. You remember when when Caesar was like, "Leave the humans alone." Talking about accident, then he's pointing to Cobra. Cobra's pointing to his scars. This accident. Yeah. <laughs> this accident. I was like, "Oh shit!" Dude, that was. Now like, I got you. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's it. That's very reminiscent of Professor X and Magneto. Mm-hmm. Like you know, they both have the right intentions, but they both look at it from, from a different, different angle. angle yeah. yeah. And, that, and that's something you don't see in a, I mean, you know, uh, such a CG driven movie. I mean, we watch nowadays, like CG is a cop out. Mm-hmm. Just like, let's throw CG and explosions in there just to, you know, dumb down the story. And you had like the Planet of the, Planet of the Apes franchise. You had the, the recent Star Trek franchise. Um, like those movies were very well, very much driven by story and character. And it seemed like the CG and special effects and action scenes were just a back, you know, a background thingy. But uh, yeah, and and this movie, it just it it exceeded that to like a whole other level. I mean, Woody Harrelson's role in this movie was <laughs> was like super, super. Him and him and Andy Serkis. I mean, it's just crazy. Mm, and he got what coming to him though. Yeah, he did. Fuck that dude. My man became a re-re. <laughs> And and I remember uh, <laughs> Lisa was about to leave the movie theater because she was like crying. <laughs> I'm like, yo, but that it, it was a powerful movie though. I can't front. Um, even with that that little co- uh, comic relief character, I forget his name. Oh yeah, that 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 um that, that monkey that could talk perfect. In- yeah, yeah. He wasn't even like annoying. Like, he he wasn't he he wasn't in part one or nothing, right? 
No. N- he could have been. He Maybe it was like I'm, an Easter I'm egg. Like Kobo was in part one. Kobo was in part one. Yeah, he could have been. Mm-hmm. It, it might be like a like an Easter egg kind of thing. Like if you yeah. watch one or or even the one before, it, you yeah, might because see him. He, he's 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 like on the level of his speech is on the level of uh, Caesar, Caesar's. even even above it probably yeah. because he speaks like a with without the accent. Yeah, and everybody's still still working on this. He's yeah, so yeah, I was he like, might be uh the like. Sort of the successor. I mean, not the successor. The uh, what's what's the predecessor. Uh, predecessor? Like he might be the first. That that's a, yeah. That's something I never really looked into. But but even him, he didn't come off as like one of those annoying comic relief characters. I mean, it, it was it was natural. But uh, even though people laughed at him. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it's, you go to the movies and people laugh at the kinda, dumbest thing. He was, he was funny. funny. But it was it was good placement. Yeah, but, he, he was like, you know, he, he wasn't. All that dumb. He's like, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like chill. Like he was afraid more. Yeah. Like, so it was like it was it was natural comic relief. But uh, um, but yeah. So that that hands down was the number one movie in my opinion. Um, like I still really want to see Dunkirk. Uh, I that's available to rent, which I should get to soon. Um, uh, Blade Runner twenty forty nine. That's something I really want, really really want to see. I mean, going into it, it looked interesting. Uh. Uh, having Jared Leto in there. Uh, I never really seen Ryan Gosling in anything outside of Drive that was interesting to me. And yeah, He's always staring into space. Yeah, he's like a heartthrob kind of dude, but this is like one of those movies that requires... Actually, I don't remember Ryan got What? Before Drive, I remember, remember the Titans? Yeah, outside of that, it was just like was, heartthrob he, movies. That, that dude's like a fucking liability at quarterback, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that you know, it's funny. That might be like the only movie that, like, <laughs> that I really. Because yeah, I mean, I never saw the, Gangster Squad and none of that. Oh, I didn't see and that. There That's was a movie other, I wanted to see. There was this other movie where he was like a stunt driver. No, not not drive, but. Oh, it, I don't know. It, it, was it a stunt driver? It was kind of like a movie, like Drive, some shit. Like it was mm-hmm. like one of those crime movies. I forgot. But he 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 was he was that. Hmm. But yeah, I, I, outside of um, Drive. I really don't remember him like that. Yeah, and the thing is, I like him. He's he's been in the yeah, like those romance movies. Yeah, and I am a fan of romance movies. I just don't. (laughs) It's got to be. I think what I I, yeah I don't I don't I can't really name one that I really really like like. Um, but anyways, uh, I was gonna say yeah, Ryan Gosling is a guy that like I like too personally. Like he, I I know he's got it in him. It's just I never really seen a. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to find that movie that he was talking. I know he was in that fucking corny ass Notebook movie. Oh, he's playing Neil Armstrong. I did. Oh shit. Okay, that's that's something that's gonna require a lot of uh, talking. Research. <laughs> yeah. He was in The Big Short. That's a movie I want to see. Uh, oh, he was also in La La Land, right? That, but I, I don't. Me personally, I don't watch musicals. But I heard that was amazing. Uh, wait. Let's see. Um, no. It, that's not it. We drive. The Ides of March, too. I heard that was a really good movie. I never seen that. That's with him and um, uh, George Clooney. Oh, he was in that. Yeah, he was in a lot. Yeah, now that I see, he was in that it. movie Nice Guys or something like that. Uh, yeah, was the it? Nice Guys. Nice guy. Yeah, that the, was a good. The Big Short, Only God Forgives, Gangster Squad. That's a movie I really wanted to see, and I don't know why I've never seen it. The Place Behind the Pines, uh, The Ides of March, Drive, uh, Fracture. I saw Fracture. That's another one of those movies just staring into the fucking... <laughs> He's a good actor. Though. Yeah, he is. It's just like, yeah, I, like I, from, from my recollection, I only, like, I've only seen him in like, you know, Remember the Titans and Drive and uh, that's really it. And, 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 and the spot. He lost a spot in yeah. Remember the Titans. My man can't cut it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. So, but him being in something like Blade Runner, you know, that's that's a big deal. And and Jared Leto is in it, so you know, I'm a huge. He, he's an amazing actor. I mean, he got a lot of shit for Suicide Squad, but that's not his fault. You know, I mean, the dude was in like a fraction of the film. So, but um, but anyways, uh, yeah. So that and Thor. Thor is another movie I really wanted to see. Um, I never got around to seeing it, which is a shame. Um, but you know, life happens. I think there was something else that I didn't see. That oh, and Kingsman. Yeah, Kingsman is another movie that I really wanted to see that I didn't get to see but you know any it, disappointments disappointments Alien Covenant but that came a- out too Alien that, Covenant that was a big disappointment for me yeah I. it's funny because I love Prometheus oh, 
whatever. <laughs> I love Prometheus, and and a lot of people did it. But I thought that was a brilliant movie. I, I love the way it fit into the Alien universe. The thing with Alien Covenant was that not so much that it was misleading. It was just that like when you watch it, it didn't know what it wanted to be. And I think that was a a, a fact. Uh, excuse me. It was be you know sort of a product of uh, Rip uh, Ridley Scott sort of listening to both sides, which is something he shouldn't have done. Uh, uh, I mean, when I when I seen with an alien that first scene when the alien starts to you know attack that girl yeah. inside that, I was like, oh, I'm ready, mm-hmm. I'm ready. Aliens back. This is the horror I'm talking about. Then, yeah, yeah. and it, and it just disappeared from there. Yeah, what, what the movie should have done is it should have done is if it wanted to be that that movie with the the two androids, it should have been that. But it started, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it was one of those things where I think really Scott sort of just, like, sort of dialed it in the sense that he was, you know, he listened to the people complaining about Prometheus, but he still wanted to make a follow-up to that. So, like I said, if he wanted to do that, he should have did that. And then make a separate movie for Alien Covenant. And it sucks that we're probably not going to, are we going to get that uh, Neil, Neil Blomkamp uh, Alien movie? Or is I that canned? I don't think so. I think that's canned. Dude, that shit would have been fucking amazing. I mean, uh... Super 8 is my one of my top 10 alien movies. Super 8? What are you talking about? Super 8. Fucking District 9. No, <laughs> oh, Super <laughs> 8 was an alien movie, too. Super yeah, yeah, Alien yeah, was... Uh, yeah, it uh, was. Uh, Super Alien was, was great. He was talking Super about 8. Neil Blomkamp. I was yeah. like, well, you got nothing to do with that. No, 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 no. No, that's Abrams. Uh, no, but um, what was it? Yes. Uh, D- District 9 and Elysium, which was a solid movie. And if Elysium came out in like the 90s, that would have been like a cult classic. Up there with like uh, Demolition Man and and even Aliens and, and Predator and all that, but but yeah, it's, and he that's like all he's had, all he has. I think he does. Oh, and did did he direct Chappie? New Bond, yeah. That did you see Chappie? Yeah. I dude, I liked it. I like a lot of people didn't like it. I mean, all right. Aside from the you, the rappers, you know, those those two rappers, those those those. Those, those two yeah, rapper yeah. thugs, whatever. That was the only thing that. The, I mean, they're rappers. They're not really actors, yeah. though. But, but you know, for the most part, everything was good. Yeah. I mean, you know what's you know what's funny though with those rappers, obviously they can't they can't act. They're not great actors, but it made the movie feel a little more real. I mean, I guess why? Because they're they're in South Africa. Yeah. They're kind of popular in South mm-hmm. Africa, so yeah. star power happens. It's mm-hmm. the business well, side the, of things. The guy answered. Yeah, they're a big deal. But the um. Yeah, the the, the 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 two rappers, Ninja and um whatever this girl's name yeah. is, uh, but but it oh, yeah she was right. yeah they're they're both they're in a group called Die Antwoord. There, there's a funny video of um. Well, she wasn't of, that. Were, no, that. I'm saying they like they don't they don't they don't they're not actors. You could obviously see that, but to me personally, it didn't bother me so much. Even though yeah, it it did, it didn't feel like supernatural but then also at the same time it felt almost like you were watching a documentary but my because thing is that if if you have them like a a subpar actor everybody around them better be good and yeah. it was like everybody else around them were good yeah 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 because dude chap dude chappy i mean and, and that that ending like i thought that was beautiful like I, i'd never seen that before ever like yeah i i thought it was great um but yeah so neil blomkamp i think he like he, he deserves another movie, but yeah, I think he, he he's all right. He's gonna have another movie. Oh yeah, he I, I would have loved it. Sony, to be, Sony, Sony, Sony got he's one of the Sony's ace. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would have loved it to be Aliens, so uh, Aliens Five or whatever, because he he can make a a, a a a proper sci-fi movie. Not taking anything away from Ridley, because Ridley's awesome. I, I wish mean, he would do, would do like a movie like Battle L A. Oh, dude, that was another good movie too, man. It was. I mean, it, dude, it wasn't spectacular, yeah, but it was. I mean, yeah, it, it's just that, like that, a, that main character, he was just overpowered. Yeah, I mean, but if that was like a Netflix That's movie, just, it's more like I'm watching a video game. Yeah, right? I mean, but if that was a Netflix movie, like you know, yeah, nobody would be complaining. I mean, like like Spectral, Spectral was like great. It wasn't well, actually, no, that was that was actually way better than. But Battle LA wasn't spectacular, yeah, but I like it wasn't bad. No, yeah, it was something like you could walk away from. Like if if you didn't spend money and you watched it on like Netflix, it's like, a oh, good time dope. killer. Yeah. yeah. It, it, but like you said, it was like a video game, so that was like pretty cool. But uh, and I I did like the way the aliens were in that film. That that yeah. was like the biggest uh, like to see them kind of like that where they were like uh, like an actual army. Like that was cool. Yeah. That one alien on the rooftop, fucking telling people where to go and shit. But um, but yeah. So uh, yeah. He he. It would be nice if he made a movie like that. But yeah, outside of Alien Covenant, I I wasn't really disappointed. Like Ghost in the Shell, I wasn't mad at the way at that movie as much as other people were. 
No, nah, Ghost in the Shell was, was, was alright. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't... Ex- like, oh, it wasn't... Guardians of the Galaxy sure? wasn't a disappointment I because I didn't have high it. expectations for it. I never saw it. It wasn't bad at all. It was just like... I don't. I wouldn't think it was bad. No, 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 no. It's, no it, it wasn't bad. It's just like the, they spent too much on no, changing the whole. The origin. reason, well, the the reason why Alien Covenant is a disappointment is because it was on my top five most anticipated movies of the year. Like that, that was there. It was actually, I think it was, I don't remember what number it was at, but it was right up there. And I was really, really looking forward to Alien. Yeah. I, I enjoyed the hell out of Prometheus. I was yeah. really looking forward to Alien. Mm-hmm. And yeah. and. What what pre Prometheus did the whole David thing? Mm-hmm. All right, that could have been done with his story. Let, let me let's get back to the, the aliens being aliens. Yeah. You know? or like we're, a, we're still on another fucking David mm-hmm. loving himself. <laughs> or like I said, <laughs> if you wanted to do that, make that the 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 entire point of the movie. Don't don't actually because with, with Prometheus, they never a lot of people didn't even know it was an alien movie. They only they only were disappointed when they found out it was an alien movie. Like and then the, you know the, it wasn't really an alien ish movie, um. But this, yeah, it they they sold it to us as an alien movie, like as a xenomorph film, mm-hmm. and it wasn't that. So like I said, if you wanted to make that philosoph philosoph um philosophy movie with with the two uh you know androids, the two Davids, put it put it out as that. But was it Mark and David or something like that? Some shit. Fucking, was, I'm surprised it, they didn't it was, have sex. It was it was stupid. I was like, I, I don't care. Why am I? I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I was. I was like, why am I still <laughs> still being force fed with these? I was like, why am I to the xenomorphs, man? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I did like the fact that he was the one that sort of like planted it or something like that. He was helping, but they went too deep into that. Like they kind of just. Oh, the, the, but the thing is, I thought there was like they were naturally evolving, and not being on some made shit. Oh, like, I mean that. I mean, it was cool. I like, got uh, how they showed in Prometheus because there was other, you know, um, native yeah, aliens yeah. and uh, how, how how it evolved from them. Mm-hmm. But now you're gonna make a full movie because he, you know, he's he's the one that basically started that shit in the last movie. But yeah, yeah. now we on another movie of him doing the same yeah, bullshit. We, we, didn't, we didn't need that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. We didn't need yeah. that. I just want to see how they naturally formed on their own and, and all that. But mm-hmm. we got that bullshit. Yeah, it started <laughs> out that way. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, it was uh, that 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 was probably the only real disappointment because, like I said, Ghost in the Show, I wasn't mad at all. I mean, it wasn't amazing, it wasn't spectacular, but it wasn't bad at all. Like I came out, and I do want to see that movie again too, because that was another movie that I saw it and I I enjoyed it. I didn't hate it the way everybody else was hating it. You know, everybody hating it for the wrong reasons. Um, well, most people hating it for the wrong reasons. A lot of people just didn't like it because it changed. But then, you know, whatever. Then there's some people that they're too caught up in that nostalgia that they forget what the actual point of Ghost in the Shell was. So it's like, it's funny, like they're, they're shitting on the film and they're shitting on what it was supposed to be. But if you've watched the anime, there was a lot, a lot of the philosophies, you know, and a lot of the, 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 the ideas that were put in, in the uh, anime were translated here. So whatever, and and then anybody who says anything about Scarlett Johansson's uh um what do you call it um portrayal of um Major didn't watch the anime because Major at least in the uh, original Ghost in the Shell anime was bland as fuck. She was supposed to be though, which you know she was an she was an Andrew, Andrew yeah. yeah. So so Android not supposed to have all that <laughs> exactly. So Scarlett Johansson did a solid job at that, but yeah, there wasn't really um it wasn't a disappointment. I mean. Like I said, out of the movies that I really wanted to see, because I don't know if I have my... Let me see if I have my top five. It was the top five uh, most anticipated movies of the year. Let me see if I still have that list. For the five people who follow me, no, Justice League is not a disappointment to me. I expected that to be shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> nah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call it Ghost. Okay, yeah, my top five was uh, most anticipated. was Ghost in the Shell was on the top, but it was five. Um, uh, God Particle that's supposed to be the Cloverfield film which got pushed back so um, Alien Covenant was number 3 War for the Planet of the Apes was number 2 and Dunkirk was number 1 so yeah so that's why like Planet of the Apes was I mean Alien was like a top 3 film and it was kind of like uh, disappointing but uh Oh, my man, my man, the fast, the fast eight, my man, yo, yo, yo so no front, my man. <laughs> I still gotta see that. I still gotta see Transformers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I still yeah, gotta yeah. see. Though the Mummy, I know it wasn't a good movie or a great movie, but I still, I don't, 
Like that without... is, is another good. I mean, I want to say it's good, but it's yeah, worth that, a watch if you if you just want to kill time. Especially now that I'm not paying for it, so it's on Netflix. Well, it's, it's, not, it's not on ah, Netflix. Ah, this shit is trash. Shit. I mean, it's kind of underwhelming, but still, it's yeah. You know, I mean, like, yeah, that I was. It looked interesting, but I wasn't expecting it to be some amazing movie. But I do want to see that. Um, yeah, and Transformers because I've seen all of them, I have to see this one. Uh, <laughs> Furious so Eight. Have fun with that one. Furious <laughs> Eight. I think I just want to fucking throw up the entire movie. <laughs> Not because I'm, you know, because of motion sickness or anything, but just because whatever. But, but yeah. So all right. Um, since we're on this uh, tip, we'll get into this upcoming topic further. But. What do you what are you most anticipating for this year? Give me five five movies. And anticipating movies, movies? Uh, for twenty eighteen. Like what five movies that you're most anticipating? Well, Black Panther. From what we know, that's like because we haven't really looked at the list yeah, yet. Yeah, well, Black Panther. Uh huh. Infinity War. Uh huh. Um. <laughs> what the fuck else? I mean, so, you don't have to get five. Just like what what do you like? What's um, on your list? Because we we didn't get to look into it deep, so we'll do that. What the like, fuck is coming out this summer? I just forgot. Uh, Deadpool. <laughs> Um, yeah, Deadpool. Deadpool, Avengers, um, uh, the X Men is coming out. No, no, Two X Men movies. Um, yeah, yeah Deadpool. Shit. Like I said, yeah, um, actually, actually, the Han Solo movie is coming out, uh-huh. and that's coming out earlier than expected. Um, like I don't know the full list now, but those are like the bigger. Well, just, well, Infinity War to me is the, the number one on the list. Yeah. That, yeah. What about you, Chris? Uh, you don't know? No, you never know. Yeah. For me, it's yeah, it's definitely Infinity Wars. From because I haven't, I don't know exactly what's coming out. I have to look at the list again, um, to get a better idea. And like I said, that's why I said we'll go further into this later on. But yeah, Infinity Wars, Black Panther, Deadpool. That's really it for now. Well, I am looking I'm forward. Super movie that's coming out oh, but that's an animated film though. Yeah, but it's an that, that's that's true. But um, and I'm I am looking forward to the Han Solo film. Obviously, it's Star Wars. And I'm definitely intrigued in it. I mean, I really don't care that that it's a Han Solo film. Like, I'm not. That's not what I'm going crazy about. But why, the reason why is because I really want to see Donald Glover's uh, portrayal of Lando. Because <laughs> I'm a big fan of Donald Glover, and I, I, I like, I, I, I think he could pull off a young Lando. And I just like, you know, I like seeing him, especially seeing him in a Star Wars film. Like, that's huge. And I, I know Amelia Clark is in it. Uh, my girl Khaleesi. I don't know what role she's playing, but anything Star Wars, I'm open to. Um, and Infinity Wars, yeah, definitely. And and not only because it's a big Avengers film where we finally see Thanos, Thanos, but the Russos are directing. And here we go sucking the Russo. Well, here I go sucking the Russo Russos off again, as as I always do. But like it's funny. You watch the trailer for this, and like some people will think back to. Uh, Age of Ultron, but I'm like, yo, my man, the Russos are directing this. You don't got to worry about that shit. Um, <laughs> and I do like that they're breaking it up into two films. They're not calling it Infinity War, Infinity Wars Part One and Two anymore, but it is two films, which is cool. So, and I hope if this movie is two and a half hours, three hours long, whatever. They say the that's the longest Marvel movie. Well, they better keep it that way I because mean, I cannot imagine a movie on that scale. Yeah, because I still don't get. I mean, I, I know why they would do it, but I still, it, it, it defeats, it, it just baffles me that you have a Justice League film, the biggest superhero group ever, and you cut an hour off of it. Not a half an hour, not 15 minutes, an hour. And Star Wars, uh, the, the Last Jedi, was actually the longest Star Wars film. It's longer than Return of the Jedi. I mean, uh, uh, Empire Strikes Back. And, yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, if they if they can go almost three hours, then the Justice League could go. But yeah, Infinity Wars, I hope it's long. Um, I mean, like that, that's not gonna cut into anything. I mean, everybody's gonna go see that shit. Black Panther, really curious to see how, because that's supposed to kick off everything. That's like the final piece before, uh, before. Um, yeah, my man, the, my man, my man got that stone hidden, hidden somewhere in the, in the fucking. Yeah, like, I just, I shit. just hope the story's not uh, villain wants superhero suit. <laughs> kind of shit but whatever that's exactly I mean, what you get yeah that's exactly what we're gonna get unfortunately but uh yeah that that is I, I need to get a further list that's why I said we'll I mean uh, uh, I need to get a more definite list that's why I said we'll further go we'll go into it further later on but that's figured just you know we're on the movie tip but yeah definitely 
invented Infinity Wars is up there. I know there's something else that like I can't think of right now, but yeah, and Deadpool two should be great. I mean, I, I don't see how that. Uh, I freaking thought the Godzilla was coming out this year. This yeah. Year. Just punching a fucking gut. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it, so like the story with that was yeah, like even before this guy left, like you know, it was supposed to come out last year, I think. Or at least, you know, that's when they were going to aim to. But then, you know, Gareth Edwards left. I, I know, obviously, because he was direct. Well, I don't think Star Wars had anything to do with it. I just think that that was one reason. And also, like, I don't think he wanted to do Kong versus uh, Godzilla yet. But it seems like that's what they're rushing into. So, whatever. I, all I know is, uh, what's her name? Uh, Eleven's going to be in that movie. Yeah. Yeah, so. And um, Ice Cube's son. Oh, yeah. Was it Millie Bobby Brown? Yeah. All right, so on to to, uh, to our next topic before we before we end this off. Um, now I didn't get to play as much video games as I would like to until the later half of the year, well, later, like third of the year. I know X is usually on that video game tip, but I know he didn't play as much. But so like, we really, I can't give you a top ten. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's not fair yeah. for me to be like, oh, this game of the year, and I didn't finish the fucking game. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I. The, the game that I that I I will give you like hey, the top games that I played. <laughs> that that's fine. I mean that's it. Hey, we hey, ain't nobody care about what we gotta say anyway. So, yeah, so. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So so what what were your tops? Like yeah, you didn't have to beat it. Um, but you played it enough to 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 like you know. Well, I'm counting one that I didn't beat, but I just watched you play. But that's so. Mm. Just watch you play the whole damn game. So what? Would, you, oh no yeah. no no. Excellent. Uh, excellent. I would say Horizon, mm-hmm. Persona. Uh, I would say Ghost Recon, very fun game. Wait, uh, that's a wait, actual Ghost Recon or is it uh the uh the the, the Wildlands? Because Ghost, Ghost, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Is Ghost a, Recon Wildlands. Okay, that's what I was talking about. okay, because there's another uh Ghost Recon game, but oh no, that's an older game. It's not. Never mind. Never mind. You know, say so yeah, Ghost Recon. I still haven't played that actually. I will go as far as to say uh, Injustice, my game of the year. <laughs> okay. I mean, I know there's a lot of. I know I never played. I don't have a Switch. I don't. I never played Zelda yeah. yet. I never played Mario Odyssey yet. I mean, now that I got a bonus, you know, I I'm, I'm just might my might drop a, drop some money on that Switch. But yeah, nah, I'm, I just I'm, might. I'm telling you, it's worth it. Like, it, like dude, just for those two games that uh, that could hold me for a year, and that's all. That's that's in, and that's, that's funny that's because that's usually you don't get something because it's limited to yeah. certain things. But dude, just on the Breath of the Wild alone, and like, yeah. I, and I hate saying that because it seems like I'm overhyping it. But dude, I spent like uh, I'll let you finish your, your list, but I spent so much on that time, so much time on that game, not doing anything, mm-hmm. and loving it. You know, and yeah, not to mention there's Mario Kart, you know. To, to Mario Kart to play and all that, so mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, yeah, the Switch, the library. My 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 priorities is Mario Odyssey and um Zelda. Yeah, I think you're good with those two alone. Zelda, yeah, yeah. Injustice. Yeah, yeah, yeah so Injustice was your game of the year. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I hate. Ain't nothing wrong with I that. Mean, I mean, I, I bought this games that I bought this year. I haven't even opened it yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's, I mean, the Wolfenstein and um. And uh, in this game, um, well, shadow, 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 shadow more, yeah. even within two, it was a good game. Okay, yeah, I still got to play part one. If you play part one, then play part two. Yeah, yeah, part I'm one's not really, play. really cheap. Part one is a great. I mean, of of these pseudo survival horrors, what we got right now. I mean, even within, mm-hmm. I bought more. Is more part one is more. You know scarier part two was just like got that creepy atmosphere because it's more open worldish. yeah but yeah the evil within games they're, they're pretty good they're solid games bro. okay cool i mean and if you can <laughs> I, I would recommend the death space one and two oh, still dude. to this day oh dude i played one i never finished it but one was fucking amazing still to this day <laughs> death space got it right one, I didn't get to finish two. well fuck part three though <laughs> yeah uh Evil Within, and yeah, I think that's it. I mean, 
we could we could always talk about NBA 2K and MLB the show. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> you know it's crazy that those games, as as amazing as they are, they never make the lists for like top. You know, I don't think sports games will ever because they come out yeah every year, year every year well, and Call of Duty did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I know, I know, yeah. the same. It yeah, essentially is the same yeah. thing over and over again. But well, not really. But yeah, Call of yeah, Duty. Well, it's Call of Duty, the same shit. Okay. No, 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 no. I know, but it's like you know, that's it's a little different because technically the stories are different and whatnot. Yeah, the stories are like the only good thing. I, the stories are, are the only thing I care about. In the Call roster of Duty. is different. Every year. I don't. No, no, I we know that, Chris. I'm just saying, like, it's I, like it's essentially the same. Thing and, and and it should I think it deserves I mean like I mean you, you, even FIFA FIFA's another FIFA, game yeah. that like I'd never played but if I was a soccer fan I'd be all up on that um yeah so like those games yeah yeah but yeah so what about you Chris what are your uh, I'll do my five um, number five would be Resident Evil Two Seven um, oh yeah number four Injustice. Number three, even though I didn't play it, but practice freaking watched you play it the whole time. It's Horizon. Mm-hmm. And number two, it's my game of the year for PlayStation, Persona 5. It's my the RPG of the year, game, mm-hmm. PlayStation game of the year. And then number one is Breath of the Wild. I would have put Persona number one, but Breath of the Wild, it just took, as it, because of I don't know. It's just something about that game. Yeah. I mean, I I, don't, I never played Persona, and honestly, I don't think I would play Persona. Nothing against the game. It's just that. You're not an RPG. No, it's not even that. I I'm open to new games. It's just that, like, I mean, you, it, it's it's such an investment, and it's, it's not for everybody. Yeah. yeah. You need a lot of it. it that game is very lengthy. Yeah, so yeah. You, and I don't if, mind long games, so, honestly. So but. if you was to play that game, just make sure you have every other game on the side. And, yeah, that's yeah, not a sports it has, game. It has a whole replay, but they have. Constant yeah, really and that's the thing. I mean, dude, I spent eighty. Oh yeah, near new. Um, near Automata. Near Automata. Yeah, I, yeah. Still, I still want to play that. Um, I keep forgetting to bring that. It's all good. Yeah, Jake was gonna lend this to me, but he's still trying to beat it. So, um, what was it? Uh, but yeah, like uh, I I spent eighty hours, eighty plus hours spending on uh, Breath of the Wild. I'm not Breath of the Wild. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. And that's not even on the DLC. That's actually one of the few games that I'm like, almost, uh, almost hundred percent of it. You said you beat it, right? I beat it, yeah. I I almost hundred percent of it. All I needed to do was a couple of the uh, the hunting trials or whatever they whatever they're called. Mm-hmm. Um, but I that's the only thing I didn't do. I I I conquered all the corrupted zones. I found every uh, every antique thing or whatever. Um, that game, dude. That 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 game is one hell of a. Uh, it's it's a it's a toss up for me, and it's hard, and it's been a toss up for everybody, like. Breath of the Wild or Horizon Zero Dawn, and like you know, you could go back and forth with what. The top three is that. Those two and Persona. I mean, I've never played Persona, but yeah, it could easily be easily be yeah easily be top three. And like like I said, I know I haven't played as much games as I wanted to. I didn't really get to play a lot of this stuff till, um, you know, the the later portion of the year. So um, it, it's it's been kind of it's been kind of weird. Uh, but. I, I, like I said, I, I got to play Horizon. Thankfully, we had we we were able to get the Switch and we played Breath of the Wild and that right there. So it's like a toss up between like, oh, you know, which game was better? And and with with Horizon, it's like yeah, it's I, I I can't even give it the graphical edge because Breath of the Wild is its own art. You know what I mean? Like I I'm I think like games like that, Borderlands, I think are just as graphically as beautiful as the breath of i mean the uh, horizons and, and games like that it's it's a different take on it but i just think it, it captures yeah, it captures a whole yeah yeah exactly like it's really about how the game plays so though breath of the wild it's more artsy horizon is more realistic you know fitting the into the modern day graphics now hands down the story easily goes to uh, horizon i mean Legend of Zelda has never ever really been known for a deep, complex, uh, mind-bending story. For me, it goes to Persona. That's I mean, Persona is just a. Yeah, Persona is just really story driven. Yeah, that's that's what the game boasts, and that's it's like what Borderlands boasts with their guns. Yeah. You know, they said they have thousands and thousands of guns, and they and they didn't lie. Persona is that game that like 
everything, you know, it really, really revolves around the characters and your decisions and whatnot. Yeah. So, um, and then, you know, obviously Breath of the Wild, Horizon, um, uh, Injustice was one of the games that I got to play, actually got to beat, um, awesome game. I'm not a huge fighting game, fighting game fan, but I mean, you take comic book characters, put them in a fighting game, add a dope story, shit ton of replay value. I mean, trying to unlock all these uh, different logos and skins and, and headgear and armor. And you guys still haven't got the freaking um, Bizarro logo. I still haven't got the Bizarro logo. I got the Bizarro He got the Bizarro logo. logo. I haven't got it. I, mean, I was playing that shit for like fucking hours and hours and hours. Days and days and days. Nothing. But anyways, but that that's an amazing game. Um, I, I, I bought um Shadow of War. Never got to... Uh, I played it for a little bit after I beat Shadow of Mordor finally, mm-hmm. but then that's when I had gotten Horizon and I wanted to beat Horizon. Um, so yeah, it's like I, I didn't even beat Shadow of Mordor yet. Uh, you know, I, I you know my story with trying to conquer the uh, the War Chiefs or whatever. Yeah. It's weird. The ending is very very like subpar. Like I'm not one of those people like oh the ending sucked. But I was like damn all that work, yeah. all that work just doing that, and then I'm like yeah, I mean it happens with these video yeah, yeah. games. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to playing Shadow of War. Like, that's... I mean, dude, I, I finally beat Grand Theft Auto V. Did you beat Doom? No. I'm, I'm actually in the process of beating uh, Wolfenstein, the first one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, Rainbow Six was sidetracked everything Yeah, well... Well, yeah, this guy started playing Rainbow Six, like, what, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. And I think yeah, I put more guy. hours in that than I did in... <laughs> this <I'm>, guy. <laughs> yo, do you know how many... You know how many like hours or how much time I put into GTA online. Yeah. It, it's a lot. I mean, I forgot I forget the number. I could look it up, I but I think you put more time in Rainbow Six in 2 weeks than I did in Persona in several months. Well, I mean, dude, Rainbow Six is a beast, man. I I would have loved to gotten I would have loved to get it. I would have loved to gotten it when it first came out. But uh I yeah. mean, it's good that you got it right now yeah. when this game is like fixed for the most fixed, part. Fixed, yeah. See, that's the thing with a lot of these online only games outside of Call of Duty because you know Call of Duty is perfect because it's simple as fuck. <laughs> you know, they, I mean, it's not perfect, but you know what I mean. There's like not many issues because it's basically the same shit over over and over again. They just rehash it in a different skin. But something like Rainbow Six or GTA Online or uh, I don't know any uh, No Man's Sky or Division, all these games. I mean, they promise a lot, and you, they may not deliver right away, but within like the year or two after its release. They stick with it. These games are like phenomenally different. I mean, I, I've heard a lot of the stories of Rainbow Six and how it was when it. Uh, I mean, it was still a good game though. But yeah, now it's, now they they actually attempted and fixed it, and now the community is even gr- growing even more. So yeah, see, that's what I like about ga- games like that. Division, and- Division Two, Divi- yeah, Division Two is another game that. That that grew grew some. Yeah, and that's like my gripe with Call of Duty because, like, I mean, yeah, I think they did take some time off between the last uh, one. I, but it's just like there's a Call of Duty coming out every year, so I don't expect them to support it. Yeah, and for that, the most part, like, and like that's that. horrible because you think about it, you're spending all right. So the game's sixty, and now they got the season pass, so you're not spending fifteen per. You you're getting it for maybe thirty. Mm-hmm. For, so instead of spending sixty or an extra 60 or whatever the hell it is, you're only spending 30 or 40. So $100 for a game every year that they're going to come out with a new one every year. So it's like at least with uh, the money you put into to Rainbow Six or if you pay for shark cards in GTA, you are not you don't have to worry about all that going to waste in a year. Mm-hmm. You know, that that's that's what turns me off about Call of Duty. Like even something like Overwatch, like it, they're letting it grow. They're not letting it be one of those things where like every year it's a new one. Battlefield's another game, you know, you don't see a, a new battlefield, but every two or three years. Mm-hmm. And I think with this one, they're taking their sweet time. Because it came out last year, right? 2015, right? Well, Battlefield 1? Yeah. I think 16. I mean, yeah. there's, there's another. They're, they're talking oh, yeah, about um, yeah, Bad God. Company 3 might be announced, which I was like, about fucking time. Yeah, it's weird that they got away from that when I like first played Bad Company 2. <laughs> and then they got away from that whole thing. And I'm not mad. I mean, I was just like... I was like, I was like yo... Where the fuck have you been? <laughs> I'm dying to play Battlefield. I mean, Bad Company Three. Oh, that, was a, that that game was the shit right there. Gotta man. remember that. But then that's what we got Borderlands that's for. You said you'll bury me right right under the Dallas Cowboys stadium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh man, but yeah, um, yeah. This th- I wish I would have been able to play more of the games this year. Like I definitely want to play Nier Automata. Um, uh, um, I- eventually I'll get to Shadow of Mordor. I also too like I don't feel like I think I spoke about this before. Just having to like review games just for the sake of getting a a, a video out, so that, like you know you could get likes and views and stuff yeah. and like it. I mean, that's that's a lot to do in like a short time. Yeah, yeah. and and us as like actual I mean, gamers, like some, we want to enjoy people, stuff. Some just for some people, that's their jobs. Mm-hmm. Like because they're journalists and whatever, yeah. and they have to get a review out there, some shit. Because they get like a review copy. Yeah, and blah blah. blah. It, that's and that's one. cool. Yeah, it's a nice little perk. But at the same time, it's like I mean, some of these people don't even care about the product that they're talking about. It's just like they're just doing it because. Yeah. And then and then that. That shouldn't factor into reviews and stuff too. So like, yeah, it, it takes us a little while to beat a game, you know. But you, you know, when, when, whenever we decide to talk about it, it's like, I mean, and honestly, some games you, you you don't even have to beat to talk about how amazing they are. Yeah, that's you know, true. it's it's a journey, it's a process, and especially something like a Skyrim. Or I mean, come on, dude, how are you gonna how are you gonna ex- fully experience something like Skyrim? By just running through it just to get out a review. You're not going to... No. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, the main story is like five hours long. I, just, I mean, this is a game that's been re-released already. Like 15... It's, yeah. It's 2018 now. And Skyrim had its original release it. on PS3, Xbox. It had its remastered release on the Xbox One and the PS4. And it just had another re-release on the Switch. And, I mean, some people complain about it, but that just goes to show you how awesome that game is. You know, GTA got a uh, re-release on the on the next gen console, which made it a whole other thing. Um, Shadow of the Colossus is getting its uh, second re-release, third uh, third uh, version of the game. And but anyways, but the point is, like some games, it's just like you should actually, whatever. I mean, I would love to be able to play more games, but then also too, it's hard because you got games like Rainbow Six that suck you in, and if you wanna like unlock things and get better you have to play more mm-hmm. so you just can't play it for like two hours a day and expect to you know like two hours a day twice a week and expect to actually be good at it and you know get the whole you know you play for a couple hours every day or something like that anyways but um well yeah so i, I hopefully this year we could play more and it's i mean especially with like the ps4 exclusives coming out yeah, when's bayonetta 3 coming out this this year yeah, it's coming out this year, yeah. And 1 and 2 is coming out. So that's another reason why you should get the Switch. I, 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 yo, Bayonetta 2 passed me. So Yeah, dude. So you get three, three games. That, that, shit is, that shit is bullshit. That, that, that shit came out on the fucking Wii U. I was mad. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> forgot about that. Yeah. That shit was bullshit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I wanted to play the Bayonetta. You know, they're dropping No More Heroes also. I'm not... No, is it? Yeah, yeah No More Heroes. No they're dropping, more, dropping a new no one. Heroes, yeah, that game is pretty dope too. You never played Bayonetta, right? I played. The you know first. that's like it's like uh, Devil May Cry. Yeah, yeah. I played. Oh. I played the first one a little bit. Like I didn't play it a lot. Like my father was like big into it because you know it's a hot chick, you know. But um, yeah. No, I played a little bit of the first one. Yes, yeah, Devil May Devil May Devil May Cry with a girl. Remember the disappointment when they saw it? That was supposed to be the like, female. Yeah. Before. Well, then. Well, that was a, like a launch game, so. Yeah. Well, we got um Horizon, so that made up for it. But there was this. Oh, there's a. Ninja Theory did another game. It's like thirty dollars. Yeah, that uh, I forgot, I forgot what it's called. It's but. um, holy shit, uh, fuck. I'll just wait for this. Should be be ten dollars or some shit. No, but they but that game got a lot of praise though, especially in the awards too. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's just that I am not a fan of short games. So something Blade, fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's Hellblade or something. Hellblade, Hellblade, yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm not a fan of like really short games especially if it's just a short story yeah, yeah, yeah so I'll just get it the cheapest I can yeah that's true like so, those Telltale games amazing yeah, games I always wait yeah but I'm not spending 60 for, bucks for it for it to come free on one of those on one of those monthly download things yeah. oh, did you play the Batman one yet? I played the first one okay yeah cause that one's free on PSN now on yeah, PS4 so the, 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 it's funny I'm waiting, waiting for the sale for the second one yeah, th- those games are something like because I mean all all the Telltale games I've gotten, I've paid no more than five bucks for. Yeah, exa- exactly. Like I got the Game of Thrones for like less than five bucks. I got the last two Walking Dead's for less than five bucks. I got the first Walking Dead for free, second Walking Dead for free too. I think. No, the first Walking Dead it was five. The second one was free. The Batman one was free. The Borderlands one was free. 
So yeah, but I'm mean, not saying they're bad games. They're awesome games. I they have the uh, still haven't played the Wolf Among Us though. Good one. Yeah, and and the uh, the uh, Back to the Future that was I, was I just downloaded that. Oh yeah. Like, it was a couple of weeks back. Yeah, I, I dude, I I'm like it's funny. Like I was thinking of the uh, possibilities of possibility of like other Telltale games, like what they could do. Like imagine playing like a like a Rick and Morty or or something of that nature, like a Family Guy or um. There was other other things that I had ide- uh, ideas of, but like Telltale, did, like they're, they're, uh, the possibilities are endless for them. I actually want to play the Minecraft one too. Mm-hmm. I mean, just to play it. I mean, if it's free or like, if it's free, I'll fucking play it. But anyways, um, so yeah, this year there's a lot of shit coming out. So hopefully we get to be on top of it. I mean, they've got God of War, The Last of Us, maybe, uh, Red Dead Redemption. And I hope they do that shit that they did last uh, with the GTA where they don't release the online until, like, two weeks after. Because I want to actually, like, play the game. Because it forces people to play the game. Like, everybody, you know, they get a game and they forget that it has a... Especially something like GTA. Yeah. I mean, it was smart that they did that because people would, like, just right away went past the uh, game and went to online. But, uh, but yeah, so... What's, like, the first big release? Uh, Dragon Ball ne- uh, Dragon then was this first, month. It's the first big release. Yeah, the beta's coming out this weekend. Yeah, so, and... And then, um... Uh, oh, and Red, Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter. Course, yes, same, Monster Hunter too. Same day. They both come out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I'm, think I'm going to be busy that day. That you know what's funny, too? Those are different different genre games, but it actually, like, that's, like, the same... The same kind of crowd. Yeah. Yeah, because, like... Uh, yeah, yeah. Monster Hunter is a Japanese game, so it falls under... It's not anime or manga, but it falls under that, you know... Japanese area and then Dragon Ball Z obviously so and that that hopefully that's like as good as it can be cause you know I mean what what did we get this year Marvel vs I mean uh, uh Injustice that was really it Marvel vs Capcom was trash oh Tekken Tekken was good okay yeah that that's a game I wanna play but yeah yeah Tekken that was good X- oh doesn't y- Yakuza 6 comes out right this year yeah. I want to play those Yakuza games. Yeah. Th- those, there's like, there, there's been what? Yakuza Zero and there's another one, right? Yakuza six Zero was the most recent one. And, and then Six is the new one. Zero six is the, um, the, 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 the prequel. Are, yeah, it's either a prequel or a remaster. And, and there, there's, there's another Yakuza, though. Yeah, Yakuza Six. That's the one Yakuza with the, six? the one New one Japan people. JPW. Yeah, that one's coming out soon. Okay, but no, there's Yakuza Zero and... Oh, I don't know. I yeah, gotta look that up. Yakuza Zero was the most recent one. Yeah, that came I know out. that. But I, I thought there was like another one, which was like a remake or a remaster that, or some shit. They think that's it. That's what Zero was, if I'm not mistaken. You know how like Resident Evil Zero was like? No, yeah. Resident Evil Zero was not a remake. Like, but, but, so, I know Yakuza Zero was like a pre uh, prequel. So. Yeah, I think it was. A, I think it was. A, it was a remake, but it was also a prequel added to it too. So I think they added a little more some shit like that because my friend had played it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so that that yeah, there's a lot of shit. Oh, yeah, a lot of shit coming out this year. Who's the what? Six? It's all about the NJPW. We got Naito, yeah. Okada, Yano. I'm surprised Suzuki's not in that shit. Oh, a little off topic, but Sonata and Okada. No, you never knew. No, I, I, that's oh. gonna be a match. <laughs> oh, yeah. we, we we know Okada's gonna win still. Oh yeah, yeah. See, that's the thing. They get away with that. Like, you know no, certain people are going to win. It's, it's just a filler. But it doesn't take away from it being a bad match. Yeah, because yeah. Sonata had, had had a good, great match with Okada in um, fucking G1. So. Exactly. Like, yo, the, here's the thing. Like, nine, I, 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 you know, this is not a wrestling episode, but like 99% chance Roman Reigns faces Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, Roman Reigns is going to win. Especially with what we know about Brock Lesnar possibly leaving again. But... You're not excited for it. You know, like, it could be the same exact situation where Okada... Uh, well, it is the same exact situation and where we know Okada's going to win. But that doesn't take away from it being a must-see match. Yeah. yeah technically, you're not off topic because of Fire Pro Wrestling. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's another game. <laughs> oh, yeah, it kind of wasn't off topic. We were in the same area. We was talking Yakuza and New Japan, and now, yeah... Fire Pro, that's. I think that that game does good on the port. It's gonna they're gonna make an actual whole like something to compete with two kids. Dude, if 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 it was like what X was saying that it's sort of like a No Mercy, like if it plays like a No Mercy ish game, dude, I'm 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 with it. 
Like, it looks a little weird. The Fire Store is still going on for a reason, so... And they, they're yeah. constantly updating it. Too. Yeah, yeah, they're well, still going on for a reason. Yo, Japan doesn't like... I'm not, not, this is the wrong words to say. They don't let go of games just because it's not a thing anymore or whatever. Like, they're very, very true to what they do. And if it's a good game, it's a good game. Like, like here in, in America, they want to make games easier or they want to copy off of the next game. Like... These developers in Japan, they, they, they're what they, what they do is what they do, and if they, if it's solid, they're gonna keep doing it. Did, you, did, did you see? Um, as well as the, it's a PC game. I forgot what it's called. It's last, last, last one out, something like that. It's like another tactical Rainbow Six X. Uh, okay, but not. Thing. It well, looks good though. Uh-huh. But yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, PC, but they have unlimited potential because. All you gotta do is update your system. And all that. Nah, I'm not. I'm not really a PC guy. It's, it just seems like a lot of work to me. But I do understand that if yeah. you keep up with it, you get the best performance. Yeah, exactly. The power is great, and I mean, I don't know how much cheaper it is than buying a new a uh, new console every so often. But I mean, there's people say for like around four hundred, five hundred, you could still make a. You could still put to uh, put up a PC that's. Still, uh, slightly better than the console. But you're still yeah. Constantly upgrading. But yeah, yeah, because the, the later game comes out and shit, you need, you know, that's yeah. it, it's and, just too much. And the I, thing, I just, I just want my controller and sit down on the couch, and that's it. Yeah. And the last thing I want, honestly, is because I mean I don't know if this is the same with with gaming PCs, but PCs catch viruses. I know you know you could run the uh, the antivirus software, but that shit still doesn't protect it now like the last thing i want to do and this is not an anti-pc pro mac thing but I, the last thing i want is to that be the only source of my video games mm-hmm. and and that's just like sh- catch a virus yeah. and then i can't play anything and then i'm fucked and you know what i mean like then that's more money you got to pay i mean the same thing could happen knock on wood with my ps4 or my xbox where it could get messed up but i don't know it's just yeah, I, I, my computers but for computer it's stuff. Cool too, you could also mod no, the modding stuff is great, but also too, like I'm, I'm playing the game. Like, you know, like modding is great, and it's, it seems but, like but it's for, fun. And two K would be great because then you can put the well, for, n- n- make it New Japan have fucking um, Don Callis and Kevin Kelly fucking. No, that, I mean that's well, kind of to, to an extent. Fucking, have legit music that I mean, those little things are cool, but honestly. Uh, it's not gonna make me get a PC just to do just to no, tinker just, with things and stuff. Well, apparently that made it game I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna use it. I play my <laughs> PS. You can use it. I play my PS4. That's it. Matter of mm-hmm. fact, you know what? Go, go get that gaming PC. You, see, you, you could play. Try play. You should try play Rainbow Six on PC. You see how better that is with the whole mouse and keyboard shit. I, that, don't, I, you I don't, see, don't you see? Don't you see? Don't you see? Don't you see? Yeah, that, like F. No, but don't you see though? Like the videos on YouTube, they stream their aim or their aims is like so crisp because <laughs> no. the whole mouse and shit. I don't. No, how that's, that's so that. weird. Like but for shooters, is it's it's it, 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 I understand. Oh, actually, yeah, I, I see it now. That, like, that's where, you that's could, where the competitive shooting stuff. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. then you know how sometimes your mouse be bugging and it's like yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that's the only weird thing. Yeah, that, that that's why their aim is like so crisp and and it's like okay, because it's you know you, you you cannot if you're playing somebody. That's that's why um uh, crossplay with PC could be sketchy because if you're playing yeah. somebody who's on a PC as a shooter, that person got advantage over you. They have you. an advantage, yeah. Big time advantage. And plus, if you're if you're playing thirty frames per second and that guy got sixty frames, that guy got an advantage over you. Yeah, that that's kind of. I mean, uh, speaking of cross platform, I fucking hope Sony like fucking wakes up <laughs> and uh, like they you heard their excuse. For uh, not wanting, uh, not wanting to do the crossplay no, thing. I don't, I don't even want to hear it. Mad up, nah. You gotta hear but it. <laughs> I, you know what? You know what, it's they're protecting their business. You know, cause no, but you know what they're they want was? people to buy fucking play PlayStation. I understand the business. I, side, I get that, but, but it's like at the same as time a, as a game as a gamer, whatever. I would love everybody to enjoy the games that I like. Yeah, I want everybody to. In, if if Halo was multi plat. That game would have been celebrated as much as Half Life was. Well, there would have been no fucking haters well, for that shit. Well, that I get. Like, yeah, I mean, even though it would be great to be able to play that, because I would love to play Halo. But I mean, like, I'm talking about at least for like cross platforms. You know, yeah, like, because yeah, like, if if you and me both have uh, Rainbow Six and you have it for Xbox and I have it for PS4, like, yeah, it kind of sucks. Cause I mean, just just imagine you 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 buy like oh I'm I'm watching um Man of Steel 
oh, I can't play it on a fucking Toshiba, you know, Blu-ray. Because yeah. it's Toshiba. Yeah, that's that's the thing. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. that's how I feel with these exclusives. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, like, all right, you have the games, though, but I, I understand you want to have make the system, uh, of uh, make make it make it make the system run with the features and well, all it's, that it's, shit. That's it's funny because yeah, that's almost like PC and Mac because yeah. they both play the same make, shit. Make make the system the one with the one that's special, but at least have everybody play the fucking games. Yeah, man. <laughs> but even like, all right, right now. Especially with the with Sony's uh, sort of stat status right now in the gaming industry, with their success in the last couple of years over the Xbox, even though I think they're both equally great, but I'm saying just at least with like the you know they had that debacle in PS3, uh, the PS3 cycle, um, they sort of got better as the you know it got towards an end, but it was like PS3 was already it already suffered enough damage with the prices and whatnot. But but like my thing is right now they, they're especially with the exclusives coming out. All right, what are you worried about? If you have those awesome exclusives, people are still going to buy your your consoles. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's just like the 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 cross-platform gaming only really caters uh, only really is, it, it includes like the uh multi-platform games. And when you're already on top, what's the fucking deal? Like their excuses mm-hmm. like, "Oh, you know, we want to protect it, it, to a certain like to a certain um degree like not quoting them exactly." It says something about like they want to protect like their the kids, but Nintendo allows cross platform. <laughs> Nintendo, who has a they, they, who has they, a parental. It's app. funny how they say that oh they want to protect the kids, but they they don't care. They, they this, the, the the online environment is still toxic as fuck. And, yeah, dude, and we, just, we could play Minecraft right now, which is heralded as a kids game, and it's really not yeah. though. But that yes. shit, like, dude, I hear eight year old kids. Talking mm. mad shit, like, so that 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 was a dumb excuse. But like, my thing is, Sony, you're on top right now, for the most part. I mean, like, I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm they speaking should about. Do it. They should be scared with the reemergence of Nintendo. Nintendo's resolution. yeah, because yo, Actually, Nintendo. The, the, the way I look at it, Nintendo has their own crowd. They're yeah, they, they're not competing with no uh, and, with and Xbox. And that and that's and, and and that's funny because that like look at what they're doing now, and that's working out so much for them. And now like yeah, they might have like a graphical. Uh, disadvantage. But, yeah, they're they're, but, they're they're not competing with. No, but look at but you look at like they got Doom, they got uh, Resident Evil Res- Re- Revelations. Yeah, they they are attempting to to bring you know some yeah. people over with with all that. Yeah, though, and that's but, cool, but they do their own thing. But I mean, even see like if I if 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 I have a PlayStation or an Xbox and Doom is on that, I am not getting that for Switch. I'm, the only time well, I'm getting that for Switch is unless Switch is the only option I could get it for. Oh, no, you, that, yeah, like, NBA 2K is a perfect example. I'm I'm not, I, well, actually, I would get it on the Switch, but not right away. I'm getting it on the PS4. Yeah. That's going to be my primary thing. Now, the thing about Doom, like that, all right, like, yeah, we play Doom, but that's a game that, like, you say that now, but, you know, you're not going to get the same experience for the most part, at least graphically, that you're getting on your console, but... If you want to play that game on the go, and that's a game you can play on the go. Like, that's a game, like, it's not really, the story's simple. It's Mm -hmm. like, you know, one of the games you just pop in and play. Like, that's the thing. Like, a lot of people sleep on that. But, yeah, like, if, if, if you have, you know, an Xbox and or PlayStation, um, you know, and then, and then a Switch. Yeah, you're probably not going to get that initially on the Switch. But, like, Skyrim right now. Like, me, I, I, I've had Skyrim on PS4. Never got around to playing it. But the switch would would be it's an it's an option and like the the the, the go part that's what really like because you, you say that now you're not gonna get it but then watch like when you get it you like yo I got this shit for the switch too <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> no nah. some certain games you won't I know I mean, that but, I could I could probably say that for the sports game but for for a really power horse like Doom or something like that if I I have to play that on the the on the best oh first go around yeah but yeah. like. Oh, first go around, yeah. But yeah. second go around, yeah. I, oh, I could, if you yeah, had, go, yeah, 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 dude. Yeah. No, the Switch will never replace my PS4, at least for now. I mean, who knows what the Switch has in the future? It would never replace my PS4 or, or somebody's 360. That's I always say that. Like, it's not gonna. You're gonna you're gonna get the Switch, and you're still gonna use your consoles just as much because, like, it'll say. All right, say you're playing something like Skyrim, which is a a, a massive game. You mm-hmm. play that on the Switch because you don't want to take away from your console game. So, like, when when you're at the shop. You could spend that time, or when you're traveling, you could spend that time playing a big game like that, or Breath of the Wild, and it doesn't take away from your playing uh, Halo or Gears of War. But uh, 
But yeah, I don't know where we were getting at with this. Oh yeah, with the cross platform. Like I just wish that because dude, it would be awesome. I mean, like companies already said. I think it was Fortnite. They 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 accidentally yeah, Fortnite put it out there. You Fortnite, know, Fortnite, uh, Rocket Rocket, Rocket League, League is one of them. Um, and Xbox and PlayStation are. I mean, Xbox and uh, Nintendo are already um, cross platforming with a uh, uh, Rocket League. Oh really? Yeah, it's a, it's already a thing now. So it's like, I mean, just let it happen, man. Like. You know, all right. Yeah, it would be cool if all the games could be played on all consoles. That'd be dope. But obviously, that's not the case right now. But let your like, if I was Xbox, I would be more like. Well, actually, no, I would. Well, X- Xbox. Well, from from my understanding, their their well, their mission was to get a powerful console out. Now that is over, right? They already got their most powerful console ever, or whatever thing going out. Right now, they say um. Um, before that, they were they were trying to be like we're we're trying to break down walls. We're trying to have every every game, every have gamers get get access to our games. That's why now um all this like basically no more Xbox exclusives le- le- legitimately because all the Xbox exclusive goes under the goes to PC side under the Microsoft Store. Yeah, yeah. So so technically. It was just a Microsoft exclusive, but not a console exclusive. So if you have a PC yeah. and you have an Xbox controller or a Windows 10 or whatever, an Xbox controller, you have a you could you, and, a, and a computer that could run it. Mm-hmm. You could you could play the Gears of War. Oh yeah, the, but with the, them, they're not going to lose the the they, Xbox they, sales they, because they're, of they're, that. No, 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 they're not. Yeah. They're not. But th- th- their attempt is like, hey, we're trying to have everybody. You know, that would be great. Yeah. yeah. So that that's that's their thing. They're, they're trying to break walls, and and I was like, "Good, you're speaking my language now." <laughs> this yeah. is like every there's no game should be like really console exclusive like that. No, that's true. I mean, and like with, with Sony, like they, like I, I said this, uh, they they they're right now like they're they're doing well, they're doing very well. Like, and if you compare it to that PS3, you know that PS3 era, mm-hmm. like nobody talks about Sony the way they do the way they used to. But like, why not get in while you're on top? It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt anybody. I mean, like, like I said, you have God of War, um, The Last of Us, Spider-Man, and that Days Gone, uh, whenever it comes out. Those are like big, big, big uh, exclusive. You, you have Horizon. So whenever a Horizon sequel comes out or whatever. So you have like those five games and whatever, I don't know, whatever Sony exclusives you have. Um, like, it's just yo, you, you're on top. You're good. This is like, you know, people are gonna get your console for those games. You continue to put out games like that, like Uncharted. People are gonna come to your console for that can, for that kind of game. Um, but now what you do is like you allow, you know, you allow people to get together. And and as like as gamers, dude, like I always dreamed of being able to play with like you know Jason and even you, because I know you have both consoles. You're not gonna get, you know, certain game because you use your Xbox more. So you're not gonna get a certain game just to play with two friends. No. You know? Like so and you're you don't even play like that, you know, like mm-hmm. online. So it's like it's 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 not like, you know, you're not just gonna do it just because other friends are doing it. So it would be cool to have and I don't expect Jason to get a PS4. Unless I he, thought he already has one. No. Nah. He he had a PS3. Oh. Uh he wants to get a PS4, like for, like because there's a lot of exclusives coming out. But he he's so invested in the Xbox, you know, so it's like but it, it would be cool. I mean, and if Nintendo's doing it, dude, I mean, come on. <laughs> You're talking about the kids? Like, <laughs> you know, Nintendo, like, they are, like I said, they have an app it's for funny, the kids. The, the Sony was, like, never about the kids. <laughs> no, yeah. Really, until, um, what, um, Planet, that, what's that, that sock game, that sock game? Oh, Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet, yeah, it's... it's yeah, I, I, even that, I wouldn't say that's a family game, not a kid's game. No, 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 game. yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's not something that, like, is aimed at the kids. I mean, it is kid friendly, but even like the Crash Bandicoots and and Jack Jackson Daxters and all that. Those were not like kid games. Nah, I don't know. Those are just games that kids could play, mm-hmm. as are most games. You know, yeah, except like this. Um, but yeah, so like Jack it, and Daxter wasn't. It's was more of a teen game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, yeah, that was Jacks, but Jack mm-hmm. and Daxter won. No, but those are kid friendly games. But yeah, so like and it, like like you said, no matter how much you try to to uh, to to sort of protect the kids so to speak you're still gonna have those and matter of fact the most toxic players are the kids true <laughs> you know like these kids are horrible 
if you hear with these, first of all, I was playing, and it annoys me. I jump into um, random casual sessions, and and then kids start talking about, oh, I'm eight years old. Like you, they sound like little babies. Like they talk like uh, like uh, like like kids. Like you hear that little lisp, that kid lisp. Like, I can't. I, I can't. Yeah. That's why I I'm just like, yo, let me get. And I only, I only stay in because I want the renown. So I'm like, let me just get through this shit, man. Win or lose, <laughs> I don't fucking care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, that's why I always have my mic mute, muted. Yeah, and it, it, it sucks with that game because you need to communicate. Yeah, you need to communicate. It's not like I, I, GTA. I, you could get away without 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 communicating. Call of Duty. You could get away without communicating. Even Battlefield. Mm-hmm. But but Rainbow Six. Uh, Siege. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just it's just hard to continue and like I, I do not want to talk to any kid on on online yeah first of all yeah, it's it's weird yeah, and it's even awkward if you're, and yeah, yeah i don't i don't want to have no i don't want to tell you what to do i don't want to be i don't want to be on your team i don't like get out of here you know i don't want to i don't want to be be a part of that i don't want to talk to no kid none of that <laughs> but yeah that's that's yeah it's weird i hope they get that shit together because it would be awesome to be able to play these games and you know, I, I think bridging the bridging the gap between Xbox and PlayStation. I mean, Nintendo, I feel, is always going to be the one that's willing to... I think that's going to be like the peacekeeper, so to speak. It's it, like, because you have your Xbox, your, your your PlayStation, then you have Nintendo. Nintendo's mm-hmm. always like, you know, just there doing their thing. And, you know, but uh, like if you could bring Xbox and PlayStation together. And then also, too, you have, you have the things where like uh, they have the such and such game gets uh exclusive content for the playstation for the first month or whatever you're already doing that now so continue to do that <laughs> you know like all right somebody gets an, a, a skin before you do like okay then th- that's fine like you know what i mean like just let let us play together because i'm tired of this shit like dude I, I post something on my thing on my, on my facebook like who's playing gta i put the ps4 everybody's like oh wish you had it on xbox so yeah Anywho, but uh, yeah. So uh, whatever. Um. So yeah, what what are we coming back with next? Uh, let's see. We got anything big coming up in the next couple days? Uh, no, I don't know. Godzilla is next week, I guess. Uh, what? Yeah. Well, I know the fighters beta is coming out this weekend, so we're gonna have that to talk well, about. Say, uh, um, oh, open beta, or is it like one yeah, of the, the uh, open beta. Sat- Friday it's closed, but Saturday and Sunday. Friday it's closed for all people that only pre that pre ordered it digitally. But then Saturday and Sunday is this open weekend. For yeah, this, so this Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, and Sunday is open, open for everybody. Saturday. So cool. yeah, that's definitely something I want to play. Uh, you can say uh, the characters we want to see as DLC. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll talk more Dragon Ball Z fighters when uh after like after we play the beta or before we play the beta around that time. Cause that's something I'm I'm looking forward to. I I haven't personally played a Dragon Ball Z game since Budokai Tenkaichi, the first one. No. Yeah, the the first Tenkaichi, the after Budokai three. That was like the last one I played, and that was the one where you could fly around the maps and all that. Yeah, right? that yeah. The first one. that was the last one I played, and then I, I just kind of like, yeah, lost it after that because it was all like essentially the same shit. Just but yeah, Budokai three was dope. But anywho, so yeah, so. And remember that? What was that old Dragon Ball Z game that, like, it was, like, the first one that you was able to use, like, Gogeta and Vegito and all that? It was a, it was a, it was a fighting game. It was, what, Ultimate Battles 1 and 2? Well, oh, yeah, the, yeah. The one that we played on, um? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Or the one that we constantly played on. No, the, the, the Ultimate Battle one. Oh, well, because I know we used to play Final Bout, but you can only play Vegito. Oh, yeah, it was Final Bout. Yeah, Final Bout. That was funny. Because I remember that was, like, the first time we was able to play as, like, the Japanese... You, you know, Super Saiyan Saiyan 4, Goku, but not Vegeta. Yeah, but anywho, so yeah, so we got that coming. Um, uh, we'll look into the uh the the list of movies coming out, and then break down like what we're looking ex- what we're most looking forward to, cause uh, and, and like hopefully we find like definitive dates, cause like you, I go back to that God Particle film that was on my uh, which is the the next Cloverfield uh universe film, uh, that was supposed to come out at the end of last year. Then got pushed back to no no the early this year then got pushed back to the end of uh, no excuse me it got it was early 2017 I still think we're in 2017 so it was early 2017 got pushed back to late 2017 now pushed back to 18 and yeah it's even going uh it's getting a name change and all that so but anywho yeah so hopefully we find some definitive dates and uh, we don't have any wrestling till till no oh Royal Rumble weekend is crazy because the uh, new beginnings two days of that and then Royal Rumble. Oh. 
So we have one of those all day wrestling things, like literally all day. Because mm-hmm. the second day of uh, New Beginning should be before Royal Rumble. I think but it's like the see, see, but no, it's, yeah, but see, the thing that sucks about that is that we get an awesome event, and then we get WWE, <laughs> and we try. It's like you you want to watch WWE and hope that something awesome comes out of it, but no. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So this we we'll, we'll come back with some more stuff. Uh, we got uh yeah we'll we'll bring some more lists. Hopefully, the five listeners actually like. Are enjoying this and are commenting that'd be awesome feedback is all is pretty cool but yeah so we'll start doing more lists uh i think we're gonna i have a top 10 uh rainbow six uh, siege operators list hmm. so yeah that, that's that's i'm working on it it's still you know it's still kind of kind of tough because i'm falling in love with uh more characters as i go along I mean, I'm set on certain people, so I think top ten is cool. But yeah, anyway, so we'll come back with that, and then this weekend fighters, so we'll have that to talk about. But uh, yeah, any any oh the Knicks are playing. Any parting words? The Knicks ain't playing. They're playing tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. Okay, yeah, good, better for us. <laughs> then uh, they won't lose to the Bulls. <laughs> um, oh, Hug City still alive and open. <laughs> yeah, Hug City 2018, <laughs> open 24 seven whenever you need it. Any, anywhere else, Chris? The Okay. Come back, Nick. We miss you. Thank you. Yeah, he does. He's crying right now. No, I'm not. Peace.